Good morning. Welcome to Sewing Quarter. I'm Natasha McCarthy. I'm here for the next four hours. I've also got Jennifer Taylor here with me. She's going to make this. Isn't this stunning? Look at this. Yeah. Rather gorgeous. Uh, she's also going to make this. In fact, let's see what's coming up this hour. This hour? This morning. All morning. Let's not just leave it to one hour. Here we go, 8 a.m. Essential dressmaking tools. I've got some new things for you. Things you have been, well, demanding, quite frankly. And I've got them for you this hour. Uh, then at 9 a.m., once you've got all your dressmaking tools, fabulous, you're ready to get dressmaking with Jennifer, making that gorgeous dress, as we've just seen. And then 10 a.m., new fabrics. Yes, yes, yes. We've got new Dashwood. We've got new Erin McMorris. Erin McMorris, I've got, I can't say that a lot quick. Uh, but yeah, we've got that that hour. And then at 11 a.m., the beautiful backpack. Do you want a close look at the beautiful backpack? This is always a winner. It's just one of those handy sizes, isn't it? You can fit enough in there. And quite frankly, it's a great excuse to get your gorgeous fabrics out. Isn't that lovely? So that is our backpack hour. It's, uh, well, yeah, packed full. Will that go on her shoulders? There you go, love. There, there you go. That's the look this morning. Uh, now, if you are new, and there are still lots of new people coming in, um, some from Sky, some from Freeview, some just found us on the internet, wherever you found us, here's how we work. If you wish to purchase anything, then head to the website www.sewingquarter.com. We will do our best to tease you with beautiful things this morning and useful things as well. Uh, it's all about function and form this morning. So head to watch if you want to watch live, then you can do so there. Scroll down if you want to get in touch, then to the right-hand side is message the studio. It's a bit like tweeting. There is a sort of number of, of letter maximum thing. So if you've got lots to say, I'll give you the email address in just one moment. Then underneath, will be all of the products from the shows. So yesterday's are about to whoosh, go, but that's your quick reference. If you've seen something on the shows and you can't remember the codes, because let's face it, they're all a bit random. Um, if you can't remember the codes, then just head there and that's where you can find it. Or if you need a little bit of help, then you can always give our customer services call uh, number a call. That will come up on your screen in just a moment. But let's talk about the email. So if you've got pictures and things to share with us, and do you know what? Last week, there were some gorgeous things being shown. Then if you send them into studio at sewingquarter.com, or just if you have a lot to say, if you've just got, you know, quite a bit to chat about, then that's the best way to do that. I can't always promise to read them all out. Uh, it depends how busy the hour is and, um, yeah, how busy producer Paul is, really. But we do always read them off the show, so it's always lovely to hear from you wherever, whenever. And also, if you are sending photos in, we are sort of assuming that it's okay to share them on air. Excellent. Right, now, I've mentioned some brand, brand new things for you. You have been asking for this for a very long time. And here it is. So this is your mini ironing board. It's perfect for sleeves, for legs of things, or just quite frankly, if you can't bother to put the whole big ironing board situation up if you know space is an issue then we've got it today look at that cracking price just 16.99 you've got centimeters you've got inches you've got all of your different degrees there and if you want a real blast of heat spin it inside out and you've got a heat reflective side there so if you just want to get at maximum pressing power then you've got your heat reflective side there um, so we've got this, so whether you're a dressmaker or actually whether you're just pressing open um, your hexes and things like that or your, uh, your, um, all of your blocks for your quilting, this is a perfect, perfect size. So we really rate this. I love the fact that we've got the, uh, the centimetres and the inches on there as well. It's really fabulous. It's just like C99. I reckon this will sell out today. That's my feeling on this. Because so many of you have been asking for it, I would say get in, get in quick. Uh, now, if you want to store it flat, you can do. There you go. So it just is easily collapsible. And then when you need it, just lift it up like that. And lock it out there. Now, the cover is vapor permeable, so it's coated on both sides, so you've got, look, you see, you've got that lovely coating there. Um, and it's just going to really help get the 
best, the best um, that you need, the best kind of effect that you need, especially when you're dressmaking, things like that. That first time that you press a seam, that's when you're going to get the absolute best um, the, well, that will be the best seam that you ever have. So make it really, really good. So this is great for sleeves, great for trouser legs, anything where you just need to get get in. It's like when you take off your uh, extension table on your sewing machine so that you can get your sleeves like that. It's, it's great to have that sort of shape. So very, very handy. Also, not very large, so it's not going to take up too much room. So if in your sewing space, your sewing area, you don't have space for a massive great big ironing board all the time to have up, this is a really, really handy, convenient size to have, especially with those markings as well. If you're um, doing hems or anything like that, you can measure, make sure that you've got you know, an equal hem all the way because you've got those markings on there, which is absolutely fab, and that's $16.99. There you go. So there it is. Lots of you adding that into your baskets. Please check out your baskets. Oh, I'll tell you what, we've gone from one extreme to the other in the studio today. Can we turn that heating down a little bit now? It's boiling in here, please. Uh, so that's $16.99 LQPH35. Pop that in your basket, check out your basket. We're going to come back to that in just one moment because this morning there's a bit of an ironing theme going on. Um, because we've been asked for these as well. Funny little things, aren't they? Now, these are finger guards. They're silicon finger guards. So, you know when you're pressing something and you want to get that seam absolutely right? Because like I say, the first time you press that seam, that is when you, you get that chance to get it absolutely right. But maybe you want to steam it or whatever. You just you want to protect your fingers. And that's what these do. So you pop them on your fingers like that. Oh, I've got it on the wrong finger. They're different sizes as well. Pop them on. And then, you see, you can, you can, you can really get in there. And that's heat protected. So you can have your steam on. Um, and uh, and they, they, just, they go very easily onto your fingers. They've got little grips on. So if you turn them around so that the grips are under there. So even if you're working with really fine fabrics... That's absolutely fine. You can get those and they will grip your fabric. So this is another thing that you've been asking for. Look, it's under five, a 449. I think that's great because I'm always, I'm always having a few problems like that. So my idea was bias binding. If you dress make, if you quilt, you're gonna have to bias bind at some point. Are these open? Can I open these? I just need a pin. Oh look, there's a pin there. So for example. If you're doing your bias binding, let's just pop that through there. We've got these on the show, the bias binder makers. Let's start to pull that through there. Get that. Oh, cut the fabric a little bit too wide for it, but bear with me. Get my little ironing board out. Brilliant. Here it is. Get my little iron. And then my fingers are protected. So when I do get, because I haven't quite cut my fabric finely enough, I've done it a little bit too big, I can adjust. I can do it so that actually I can, I can get in there. If it's not quite right, I can get in, move that, uh, rearrange that. I can do all of that sort of thing. So it's also great for if your hems, if you're doing your hems, so that you're doing your hems, you want to iron this, or maybe you just make your bias binding by hand, then you get that in half there, and you can absolutely make sure, because then, fold those there, and then you can hold that in place, you've got that grip, it's great, let's just do that, there we go. So if you're doing your own bias binding, you always get to that point where actually it's hot. And especially if you've got the steam function on on your iron, you see that's gripping it in place. I'm managing to do that very easily. And that is not hurting my fingers at all. And that was straight up, straight up to there. So I'm, I'm absolutely, all those times that you need a delicate seam opening or you just need to absolutely get in there. Perfect. 
And then if I just want to fold that over to finish off my binding, then I can. And because you've got all three fingers there, you know, you do have that dexterity. And there it is, done absolutely perfectly. Now I know the next thing that you're going to be saying is, Tash, I need that little iron. I know, I know. Um, I've, I've used a lot of different little, little craft size irons. Oh, we've got a little premier sign. Oh, how nice. Uh, so this one, I would absolutely really recommend. This is from Prim. It looks like a little mouse, which is quite cute. But look, can you see? It's steaming. So this is one of, uh, I think this is one of the best little irons in, on the market. I, I absolutely, totally rate it. I'm just going to um, turn it off so that it cools down and I can turn it around for you. But let me go through here the different, well, it's perfect for the use with this. Uh, but then, look, you've got on here, this is a steam iron, so you can pop water in. It comes with a little carry case, so it's very portable, and it also comes with a little jug that you can fill it, look, a little itty bitty jug, jug there, that you can absolutely fill it with water. Uh, you've got your steam functions, and then it's gonna let you know this comes on when it's uh, nice and hot. You've also got your temperature variables there. This is a cracking piece of kit. If you want a hit of steam, then you just press that. But it also, that is raised, so if, you're, if you want it permanently on steam, you can just push it down with your hand as you, as, you, um, as you iron. And then there, that's where you would fill it up. Just take that out, fill it up with water. You've got a little reservoir there for the water. This is a cracking piece of kit and it gets so warm. Uh, it's nice and portable, so when you are moving it around, just wind your cord around there. And eat. I can do this even though it's still warm because it's out of the way, I'm not going to melt my cord. Because it's all about keeping things, um, you know, nice and tidy in our rooms, isn't it? And then when you're done, you can just store that bit on there, stop it unravelling, and then pop it in its little bag. It's a bit too hot to put actually in its little packet, but it all comes beautifully together. Oops, stay there. Uh, like this. Ta-da! That's what you're getting. So everything's in there, and I have to say, this would be my mini iron of choice. I haven't found better. And I, you know, I've got mini irons, but this is the one that I absolutely wished I'd had. This is $39.99. This is your Prim Mini Steam Iron, and it steams. Mine doesn't steam, and I really want that steam function. So this is the one. Grab it, it works absolutely perfectly. Now, ironing board, I told you that, I told you, you need to be quick this morning. Half of the stock has already gone of the ironing board. I knew it would, I knew it would be a, a big seller because so many of you have asked us for it. So it's, it was gonna go, it was always gonna go. It's compact, it's handy. Whether you're a dressmaker, if you're a dressmaker, then it's perfect. Your sleeves, your legs, your trousers, when you're hemming, absolutely brilliant. You've got inches, you've got centimeters. You've also got, of course, that reflective layer under there as well. The steam can get through, so it's not gonna really dampen your fabric uh, because it is, it's water are permeable so it will just sort of pass through if needs be but that heat is going to be reflected back through so it is absolutely excellent and like I say really easy to store away so storage is an issue that there it is tiny or you can hang it if you want to if you want to pop that on the wall or something like that then just hang it up uh, really easy and then when you come to use it just click it in like that super easy it around you're good to go whichever way right left-handed doesn't matter does it all good 16.99 i think that is absolutely cracking price this is and actually i'm so pleased that we've got jennifer taylor coming up next because she always asks this she's like have we got one yet have we got one mm, not really so this is the one to do maybe there we go something else that always 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 sells I can't believe it took us nearly a year to get this, but now we've got it, you do go absolutely crazy for it. What is it? Well, it's calico. Okay, so whether you are um, 
I like to bag make with this and, you know, and do all sorts of different things. It's a really handy one. Uh, it's because it's got that lovely nat natural texture. This is your calico. Okay, so if you're into your dressmaking, then we often talk about make a toile up first, check that something fits. Da -da -da. John's done some amazing hours showing you how to make your own blocks. Uh, and for you to do your dressmaking and this is the starting point is with your calico it's just 199 per half a meter so it's it's an inexpensive way to mock up whatever you're going to be making make sure that it fits absolutely perfectly before you go in with some of your fabrics uh, that are you know obviously more expensive so this is a brilliant way to absolutely make sure that you have your uh, your your toile done to perfection for just 1.99 per half a meter not only that but it's got that lovely natural texture that lovely natural finish i make little bags out of this i do all sorts with this i don't always use it just for dressmaking it's just one of those really really handy ones to have really inexpensive yet sturdy whether you're using it for lining whether you're using it for the outside of things it's got a nice natural texture to it you can see different flakes of um of natural color coming through in there but this always just sells itself. So it's just 1.99 per half a meter. Invariably we sell out of this and have to keep getting, getting it back in stock. How many did producer Paul? 20 of you, yeah, I said it was popular, didn't I? 20 of you just added this into your basket, so you are going to have to start checking out. So here's how the check, the whole checking out process works, because you might be new, and if you are, good morning, it's lovely to have your company. Um, when you check out your basket, that is the only way to make sure that your order is secured. So if you're after something like the new ironing stand that we've got for you today, the mini iron, the ironing stand rather, then check out your basket. That means it's guaranteed. Just having it sat in your basket doesn't secure it. 32 of you now with calico in your basket. I said it was a good one, isn't it? It's 99 it's fabulous. And of course, you can buy as much as you want and we will cut it in one continuous length. We are incredibly lucky with our warehouse staff because they are trained to cut, so they will cut um, a continuous amount. So if you put six units in, that will be six half meters of fabric, so three meters in total, and you will get that in one long continuous length. Uh, some, one, one lady's just bought 12 units, so she's gone for a good six meters in total there. You know, it, when we get this, buy it because it does not stay in stock at all. Um, so check out your basket. That means that it's secured. Are you going to incur postage costs every time you check out your basket? No, you're not. Not with us. It's just 2.95 PMP per day. So you check out your basket as many times as you like throughout the day, and then at midnight we apply the PMP. Okay. Right now then, the Watty makers, producer Paul. Oh, the bias binder makers. Here we go. Now, I've got different size. Here we go. Here's the other one. Now, um, I've got two different sizes. This is sort of your everyday binding. This is for your dressmaking one here, which is going to be for your much finer fabric. So I'll get that one out of the way for the moment. This is your blue one here. Now, this is 25 mil. So you would cut to double that size. So you'd cut to 50 mil. That's what, two inches? Ah, oh, do you know what? That's why my piece of fabric didn't cut through. I was, wasn't thinking cut to two and a half inches because that's my default. Yeah, so you'd cut two inches and then you'd feed it through. Now you saw earlier, in fact, you know what? I might just, let me just cut a little piece of fabric that's actually gonna fit. Let me just cut this down. Now, whilst, we, whilst I just have a little trim down, if you are buying something over £10 a day and you are brand new to us, then what we like to do with new, with new buyers, new shoppers, we do like to give you a, a little something from us to you. And at the moment, our free gift is, if you're spending over £10, oh, I've only got a little tiny rotary cutter, uh, the, the, uh, the free gift is this, is a very handy little cutting mat which we all really like. So it's an A4 self-healing cutting mat and you don't have to do anything, just place your order and if it's over 10 pounds, not including your PMP, then that will instantly be added. Someone was asking on our, um, on our fan page the other day on social media, like, oh, are there any deals going on? Yes, this one. We will always have a new gift for new customers. Um, well, we have done ever since we started. I don't think there are any plans to stop to my knowledge. So at the moment, this is, this is it. And it's self-healing as well. So you've got, um, you've got your, 
Your markings on there. Okay, oh, well, hang on. We'll discuss that later. Now, let's have a look at this. So, let me show you how these work. If you've never had a bias binder maker, they do make life so much easier. The first thing that I would do is just cut an angle on your fabric and then slide it through. So bias binding, we're going to use that on our quilts, we're going to use it to edge, line bags, um, on your dressmaking, it's just one of those really handy things. You'll notice there's a little channel through there, that's there for a reason, because look, sometimes your fabric gets a little bit stuck and that's absolutely fine. You can either work it through with a pin, there you go, however you like. Now what happens then is you turn it around and you want to make sure that this, your fabric is evenly distributed around both sides, okay? Because as you start to feed that through, you want it to be even around both sides because that will give you a nice evenness as it comes out this side. So then you just start to pull that out, pull that through there, make sure that's around there. Once you get going, it's just initially as you pop it in, and then you'd get your iron and you would just press. Let me do that. Oh, Lorraine in Cambridgeshire, she says, love, love, love my prune iron. Maybe small, but everything um, a big iron has, says Lorraine. Well, yeah, I've just turned mine off, Lorraine, and I'm really <laughs> regretting that now, because look, I've got to try and do this on a little ironing stand with a big, oh, I should have had me, yeah, you see, I should have had me, well, I'm going to, there we go. Pop me in. Uh, because I've just unplugged it, haven't I, Producer Paul? So it's not actually on. I will plug it in, but it won't be hot enough yet. Oh, gosh, I'm being nagged by Producer Paul this morning. I will plug it back in. There you go. So you can see instantly what I've got there. It's coming through perfectly. Then just fold that over. Give it another press. Get your little iron. So that's how you would do that. Perfect, perfect binding every time. We have two different sizes for you. So that's a really handy one. And then this one is great for your dressmaking. So for those smaller bindings, so whether you're doing necklines, things like that, more intricate, smaller details, then you want this. This is your 12 mil. So when it comes out from there, then it's gonna be a 12 mil. When you fold it in half, it's gonna be six mil. Okay, so that's how that one works. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I bought a cheaper version, no good, no good. You want these ones. These are lovely and sturdy and they just work every time. That's 1099 GPGQ98. I should take my own advice, shouldn't I? Hey, buy cheap, buy twice. That's what my husband always says. Now, uh, let's have a look over here. I've got a little bit of fun for you next. Did you see last week we had Rebecca Reed on? I think it was um, Tuesday. And, uh, and she has one of these. She has the snail one. We're going to start with the fox. And these are retractable tape measures. And she brought them, she brought hers on the show. I just think they're gorgeous. They're crocheted. And so many of you were like, well, have you still got them? Yes, we have still got them. So here's the thing. Pull it open. And it's got that lovely function where it just holds. And you've got inches on one side. You've got centimeters on the other. So it'll hold it. And then when you're ready and you need it, winding back in, there's a little button on the back there, press that down and it brings it back in. And there's his little tail, ready to go again. I love these. There it is. Now, we don't have huge, huge numbers of these because they have been so popular. I think a lot of you have been buying when, after you saw Rebecca Reed's the other day. Love them. Whee! There we go. And the really nice thing about this, because this isn't on all tape measures by any means, is that look, it actually starts there, not hidden somewhere into the tail. The actual zero is there. You know, sometimes you get the tape measures and actually they put a bit, bit of metal or something on the end and you can't actually measure like a half inch or something because it's all covered in metal. Not with these. So a lovely little present. It's just $8.99 MKHN26 for your orange fox. He's gorgeous, isn't he? There we go. So that's your orange fox. We're not stopping there. We've got all sorts for you this morning. Let's have a look at the owl. Oh, hang on, I can't remember which leg it is. Let's, <laughs> it's disguised, cunningly disguised. So here's your owl retractable tape measure. There he is, looking lovely. Oh, it's that one. 
pull his leg, gets a bit, a, a bit of a wonky owl, and then whoop, back again. Brilliant, just brilliant. Uh, we absolutely love these, uh, and you do too. They're flying out, eight ninety nine for your retractable owl. I just think it's a little bit of fun. Sewing should be fun, shouldn't it? Wee! So you should have, you should have this in your life. And actually, this keeps my four-year-old busy for hours, hours and hours and hours. Measure, 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 retract. Perfect. I don't know about you, but I have several um, tape measures that are just wound. They take me ages to just wind. <sighs> it's very boring. Get one of these. Just does it for you. Now, this was the one that Rebecca Reed actually bought herself. And she bought it on the show because she loves it so much when she was on last week. And this is the snail. Beautifully. All of these beautifully uh, crocheted. You can tell I didn't do it because I'm not the best at crocheting. There we go. And that's his tail. Press in. Wee! There it is. So it's 150 centimetres. Whoop! 150 centimetres. What's that in inches? That's 40. Ugh. Uh, 60, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's six. There we go. All the way up. There's your 60 inches there. 150 centimetres there. And then there he is when you're ready. Woohoo! Just retract him. Goes in an absolute dream. So that's, oh, you've got to start checking out on these. Apparently, we've got limited stock. But let me show you the last one we have for you. The bear is the most limited, and I think he will probably be one of the most popular ones because look at him. We've only got 15 of him. That's, so, so when I say limited, you know, really super limited. But he is gorgeous. Yay, there's the bear. No, look at his little nose. He's just brilliant. Press it back at the back of the head. All I'm pressing at the back is there. So you can see all the crochet is in circles like that. What do they call it? A, a granny's something or another and, uh, in crochet. I can't remember. And, uh, and so there it is there. And the button is in there. Ba, 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 ba. Hours of fun. Hours of fun. So you've got them in your basket. Please check out your basket, says producer Paul. Got to check out those baskets. Now, do you know, this is such a useful hour. Really useful. You know, go, produce Paul and I were prepping it this morning, going, yeah, 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 and that, and that, and that. It's all really, really useful. Um, and this is one of the gadgets that sells out every time that we have it. What is it? Well, okay, let's face it, and we've seen this on the shows, things go wrong. Things go wrong and you have to unrip, uh, unpick those themes. So, seam ripper, stitch unpicker, whatever you want to call it, here it is. Now, the beauty of this, yes, it does have a little thing so that it's nice and safe. You're not going to accidentally prick yourself with it if you're rummaging around in your workbox. But here's the thing. If I'm unpicking something, especially if I've matched my, my thread perfectly, so I can't even see my stitches and then I've gone wrong, uh-oh, it's okay. Ta-da! I've got a light. And if I just put that on the desk there, you can see that it's going to go to exactly where I need to unpick. So if I just grab myself some of this fabric, let's say that this here is what I'm going to unpick. If only we could bring the lights down, but we can't. Then you can just see there, that look, that's going to exactly where I need to unpick. And it's got a nice um, sort of natural light so that you can unpick that. So if you're working in bad light, I brought in some of my English paper piecing today and um, Jennifer Tay was looking at she's like, you've hand-stitched all this. I said, yeah, yeah, no, I have. And um, I said, well, a lot of it was done in really bad light. I've sorted that now. I've got my daylight lying out, but, um, you know, which meant a lot of unpicking. Perfect, perfect. In any light, you can now get your perfect unpicking, especially, you know, so many of us, our eyesight's not quite what it was, if we're being honest. Then help yourself with this. Uh, first time I bought this to wear, sold out, $7.99. It, in minutes, actually. And we bought a lot, and we bought like 100 or a go. Yeah, we did. And it's just one of those things that everybody should have. Um, Irene was on at the weekend, and again, she always brings us stuff that we always really need. There are certain things that make life easier, and we say time and time again, it's why we have these tool, tool shows. It's the right tool for the job. And sometimes you don't know it's even out there. You didn't even know that it was a thing, and you go, oh, no, that makes absolute sense. Of course it does. If I'm going to unpick stitches and I've matched my thread so it's really hard to see, actually what I need is to have that little light there so that I can absolutely see 
where I'm unpicking. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We love this. And it's got a nice grip there as well, so you can get in. Do you know, I only learnt from being on the channel. Did you know why there's a little red lump at the end there? Does anybody know? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? I can't remember who told me this. But when you're unpicking, you use that bit, that sharp bit, to unpick the first couple of stitches, then turn it around and go in. And that little um, red bobbly bit there protects your fabric so you don't rip through your fabric as you, as you unpick. Clever, isn't it? I didn't realise. And they've all, it's just one of those things I've just always looked at. It's like, oh, that's just an unpicker. Didn't know why. There you go. Seven ninety nine. Some of you will be like, yeah, obviously, Tash. And some of you will be like, oh, yeah, no, of course. So lots of you um, multi-buying, making the most of that P&P. &P. It is just one P&P &P per day. So check out your baskets as many times as you like. And that's what we like. Now, the three-in-one pen. Um, I did want to do this the other day, and I couldn't because it was already locked into this show. And I've used this on, on many a show, and it is my favourite pen. So what you have here is a three-in-one pen. Did you at school, when, when I was a kid, I had one of those that had like 10 different, 10 different inks around the top? I used to love that pen. I think that's why I love this so much, but it's really, really handy. So on this, you can see, first of all, what I've got here is um, this is this is just a normal lead, but it's a fabric lead, and so that's your great. So if you're marking um, lighter coloured fabrics, that is the perfect one to mark. It's fine. It's really fine. If you want more of a more of a thing, then just click down, and you can do that. Or if you've got too much, just push it back in. Um, so that is your your lead. It's like a normal lead coloured one, but it's for fabric twist it round again. Now this is brilliant. So if you're using the Chakoffee paper or anything like that to uh, transfer any markings from your patterns and, and you've got your Chakoffee paper, then you can, you can use it to do that, which is excellent. So you've got that. And then round here, if you can just see there, I've got my white. So I've got the, um, the gray lead for marking uh, darker fabrics. I've got my white for marking darker fabrics. Have I said that right the right way? No. Here we go. Darker fabrics for your white. There you go. Ba, 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 ba. If you do things like, I can say this because uh, we've got, we've got um, Jennifer Taylor in today. So she loves a bit of Sashko. Natasha. Then this is absolutely brilliant. This is like having your chalk pen. And you see on this grey, shows up an absolute treat. There you go. So it's a three-in-one for ten ninety-nine. Absolutely brilliant. You've got your tracer, you've got your, your darker blade, and actually, you can even use that on there. That's how dark that is. So you've got light, you've got dark, and you've got your tracer one in there as well. I just, I love it. And there's an eraser on the end. Yeah. So, yeah, oh yeah. Do you know what, Producer Paul? I've never realised that. Producer Paul just said there's an eraser on the end, Natasha. So if you go wrong, there you go, rub it out. Perfect, brilliant. There you go, job done. Right, let's put that to one side. Perfect. Three in one. It will come to you like that. Little things make life really easy, don't they? We had the five in one tool on the other day and I was using it with that to draw circles. Fabulous. So 10.99 JCRW03, I think that was. It's just disappeared. Right. Uh, oh, the magnetic pincushion. I would not be without mine. Absolutely love it. Saw it on the show, went straight home, bought one. Uh, so this is what happens. If you are anything like me, you know, pins get around the place. But I've got animals. I've got small children. You know, I don't want them to be, I don't want them to be all over the place. But when I'm sewing, I get a little bit overexcited and I just, you know, pull the pins out as I go and they don't always go straight back into a pin cushion. So don't worry. And this does always remind me of those magnetic soap dishes that you used to get in like the 80s. I think my grandparents had one. For your, was it your cousin's soap? There you go. And it just lifts it up. 
It was a magnetic soap dish, Director Tim. He's like, what are you talking about? No, it was. It used to have like a little, a little magnet that you just put, used to put in the top of your soap, and then it used to, and yeah, great. So, but this is just handy. So if you've dropped any, or if you think you might have dropped any on the floor, it's got quite a pat, look, doesn't even want to come off. Just zip, hover it over, pick them all up, and there they are. It, it's just brilliant. And they're always there, they're always handy. You can just sort of put them in their general direction. You know, when you're, if you're stitching in a hurry, look, it's just, it takes it. Otherwise you have to place them, don't you, delicately into your pin cushion. Map, they're there. So I always keep this by my sewing machine. In fact, I've, yeah, I really should just get a couple more. And then I know that I've always got them. 449 XCPH79. Do you know what? There are so many items on this show. I'm like, yeah, no, I really should get another one of those. I really love it. Really should get another one. So 449 XCPH79 for that. Grab it. You will not be disappointed. Now, the other thing that's always very handy. Um... A lot of you have been incredibly uh, wonderful and followed my, my sewing journey since we've been here. And this is something that is incredibly handy. It's called Fray Check. So when I wasn't fabulous at doing a quarter of an inch, and I used to wobble a little bit, this has been a bit of a savior um, because it will stop your fabric from fraying. So that, that's, what it, that's how it's gonna come to you. And for 549, it's a little bit of magic in a bottle. And it's got a fine nozzle. So you just would, oh, there's a little bubble there. You would just apply it to your fabric. Let me just clean that off. So you just apply it down the side of your fabric. Like that. And that will dry, it'll dry clear. And especially if like me, you've done a, a lovely quilt and then you realize that, oh, hang on, actually, I'm a little bit close for comfort on one of those seams, and if, if, if that frays anymore, that's gonna come away, then just pop a little bit of fray check and then it won't fray and your stitches will stay. It's brilliant, really, really handy. So I'd recommend anyone have that. There are, there are some fabrics that just, you know, they're just a, a looser weave, they're just, and so actually this is really handy on those because sometimes you don't have your pinking shears to hand or you're not going to do that or you just, or you've just, like I say, gone, had a little bit of a wobble and you, you know, you just want to make sure it's not going to fray, then this is a great one. Also lovely to use on finer fabrics as well where you absolutely don't want them fraying, um, then it's just brilliant. And again, it's one of those things that you will be mid-project and suddenly realise, oh, I wish I had that fray check stuff that Natasha was talking about. Yes, there it is. It smells a bit like uh, nail polish. I was in my nails just before we started the show and the uh, floor manager and cameraman were like, What's that weird smell coming out of the aircon? I was like, no, it's my nails. <laughs> it's fine. KUPH02, that's five pound and 49 pence. Make the most of our PMP. It's just one PMP per day, 2.95. So you can, when you see something that you really need, check out those baskets. Now, uh, the other, we're all about the ironing today, aren't we, Producer Paul? This is your ironing sheet. Uh, this is your, uh, your goddess sheet. There you go. Uh, this is your goddess sheet. Basically, this is a non-stick ironing sheet. So if you are doing any kind of applique, or even if you're just working with a fabric that you're not sure if you should really be ironing it, pop a fabric sheet on there. Pop your goddess sheet on there. And just gives that extra layer of protection. You don't want to gunk up your iron with any of your adhesives, bondawebs, things like that. Um, you know, just be, just be careful, make the most of your irons. You know, if you're spending out on a really nice iron, make sure that you're not gonna damage it by getting all the sticky gunk on. Not just that, but that sticky gunk will then transfer onto other fabrics. So keep them clean and use your misty fuse. And here it is, it comes like this. It's quite exciting packaging, isn't it? Look at that. And it's $14.99, and once you've got it, that's it. You've got it. You've got some instructions down there, best ways to use it. You see, look, they've misty fused her dress on. And so it just shows you the best ways to use it with your iron. And that is your goddess sheet there. It's, it's one of those things, it doesn't wear out. 
when you've got it. No, she's not. She's no, she's not. Here we go. She's just she's got her iron in her hand. There, she's she's all ready to go. Now, that of course very useful for any of your adhesive sheets. Oh, I've got an adhesive sheet for you in a moment. But next, let's have a go at this. Now, four different colours with this. This is your, um, wow, this is your, it's like tracing paper, it's like carbon paper. So you know when the waitress comes and takes your order and you get a copy in the, well, no, the, the kitchen gets a copy and she keeps a copy on a notebook? This is, this is basically it. So this is your Millwood dressmaking tracing paper in four different colours. Now, this is where it's brilliant. If you've got your trio pen, then you would just put that onto the tracer and then you'd get your fabric. And uh, hang on, which one is it? Oh, look, you're getting multiples of, of the... There's a couple of the white ones there. And then just mark onto there, and you'll get that come through there. So there it is. There it goes. So you get two of the white, because that's going to be probably your most useful one. So um, you've got four different colours, but actually five sheets in there, which we haven't made very clear to you, but it is. So you've got your blue for, it depends what colour fabric you're working with, haven't you? You've got your blue, you've got your yellow, you've got your red. So you've got those different colours. And also you've got kind of a sheet to stop it from transferring onto each other there. So that's the colour of your yellow there. There you go. So let's keep the yellow out. Let's have a go with that in a moment. So there are your different colours, two white and then one of each of the colours. And then if you're, so say you're marking a fabric and uh, you've got your pattern. Here you go, here's the rest of my grey. Then you would pop that down and then this is your marking tool. So you'd mark that out on your pattern and then that just comes through very, very faintly, but you can just see it on there. And just mark it, mark it, mark it, and it will come through. I can see that. I don't know if our cameras can. It's very pale and faint on there, but you will get, maybe go with the whiter one on that. But it is, it's one of those things. You can have a play with your different colors so that you're marking it on different fabrics to go. Now, the tracing wheel that I just showed you, very handy for transferring your patterns. If you don't, you know, if you're uh, maybe going to use your patterns multiple times, then you can transfer with your tracing wheel. There we go. So that's just $1.99. Again, it's one of those really handy things to have. Once you've got it, you've got it. And then when you do get to that point, you go, oh, now hang on. I've got a pattern and I, I'm going to use it for different sizes. So I don't want to cut into it. Then just use your, your tracing wheel and trace it through. So 199 VBGQ20, 199 for that. There we go. Now, scissors, always important. Which ones to go for? So let's go for the largest, the largest ones. Now, uh, these are 24 centimeters. What's that? 25 centimeters. Sorry, they're the 24 centimeters one. 25 centimeters. These are by Fiskars. These are your dressmaking shears and they are super duper sharp. I have to say these are the ones that I use at home and they are absolutely fabulous. I just, it makes all the difference. They're $22.99 and when you pay out for a pair of scissors like this, uh, they're just brilliant. They will, they will just last and last and last. They fit really nicely in your hand. They're ever so easy to use. Just cut through. Fiskars have been going since about the 1600s. They're named after the place they're, where their factories are made, where they, where they get the metal from. Um, and uh, they, they really do know their stuff. They've been manufacturing blades for so many years. They just really know what they're doing. It's going to cut through multiple layers, should you need it to. But it's also going to make short work of any cutting. And just it, it's, don't mash your fabrics. I mean, look, I can just cut through these. Super simple. And because it's nice and long as well, look, you can get that cut right to the tip. Nice, crisp cut. So Jennifer's chosen to use these in the next hour. These are her favourites too. 
We love them. Um, and then, of course, the other thing that we all need a good pair of are our pinking shears. Okay, so if you're pinking shears, again, if you want to stop any fraying, we use them a lot. Oh, dear. We use these quite a lot with, um, with our toy making as well, actually. Sort of if you're going around a corner, then that's often very handy rather than, you know, chopping into things. So if you're working with a fabric that's going to fray, these are nine inches long. They're 22.9 centimeters. If you're working with a fabric that you know frays, get your pinking shears on there and it just makes a world of difference. I realized the other day just how blunt my grandmother's old ones were and it was time to actually treat myself to a new pair. So for $39.99, these are absolutely fabulous. Especially great with your toy making, finishing things off, having that reassurance that it's not gonna fray. You know when you get um, jelly rolls, like pre-cut pre fabric strips, they're very, very often done with pinking shears so that they know that the fabric's not going to fray. So they know that when you're sewing with them that, that you can sew with absolute confidence. And there's a reason that they do that. And um, so it's a reason that you should have one as well at home. So $39.99. Now, maybe you want a lovely micro serrated blade. Ooh, yeah, sounds posh, doesn't it? I'm going to get these a quick polish. So these are tailor shears. Look how smart these are. So if you're after that micro serrated blade, so you're getting that great, great cut. They're from Prim. It's their gold edition, so a gold colored handle on there. So they are hot forged by hand. And I have to say, that is such a satisfying cut. And can you just hear snipping to the very end? This is high quality uh, steel here. That's not going to slip. That's why we've got that micro serrated blade on there so that there's not going to be any slippage that's just going to eat through that fabric as much as needs be. And then look to the tip. They feel really nice in your hand. And look, I don't know if you can see how close you can see. Can you see in there? I don't know if you can. That micro serrated bit along there. I, ooh, I don't know. I might be asking a bit too much but all the way along there, micro serrated. It's brilliant, really wonderful. What a nice looking pair of scissors. There you go. Lovely. 39.99 SYPH30. Now, uh, do you know what, I, any of those, I'd be really pleased with any of those scissors to be honest. It's one of those things, it just makes, when you've struggled with, um, with a bad pair of scissors, when you actually finally get a nice pair. Ah, oh, wonderful. Now, talking tools for the jobs. Big ham, little ham, all sorts. This ham. Uh, this is the sleeve. Oh, that ham. Okay. Now, we've said this morning that when you press, especially when you're dressmaking, you get, one, you get that chance, that first chance to um, get a seam that is absolutely perfect. And the first time that you press a seam uh, when you're making is going to be the best seam that you press. So this is, insert this into your sleeve and use this to press. You can also use it to, to really open up those seams, get those in and then fold it over there, press onto it get that shaping. If you're shaping any kind of garments, you've got darts or anything like that, you want to press your darts in, this is a great tool. Fabulous, this is for your sleeves, so it fits in absolutely perfectly. And you see, look, these are all hand-stitched, all finished hand-stitched. I think they're filled with like uh, sawdust, isn't it, and, and things like that. So it's, it's not too heavy, but you've got enough clout. When we have, I remember the first time that we brought these to her with Janice, and she had this one. She's like, yeah, you just bash your seams down. And I thought, oh, wow, not going to argue with her. Now, five of you just added this into your basket. Please do check them out. They're really handy to have. And of course, your PMP just $2.95 and it's going to be wending its way to you. Ba, 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 ba. Iron, iron, iron. Now, that's your sleeve ham. There's a ham for all occasions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is your larger ham. So again, if you've got... Um, bus darts, things like that, press them in. It's just 11 pounds. Press them in. Make sure that you're getting that curvature. You know, it's there to emulate the curves in our bodies. We're not just flat. They're there to emulate 
get your fabric over there, press it in place. It's something that you're not going to manage on a, on a flat ironing board. So emulate those shapes, make sure that you've got those darts in there, really get that shape in there and get that fabulous finish. If you're making for yourself, then the whole reason that you're making is because you want to look brilliant at the end of it. You want something that's going to be absolutely right and having the right tools for the job is what it's all about. So that is your so easy Taylor's pressing ham. They're sturdy. FSGQ19. Now, um, we are very, very low in stock on the ironing board sleeve. Here we go. This was brand new today. You've been asking and asking and asking for this. And I did say this morning, I think this will sell out. So if everybody checks out, there are only 10 left this morning. So please, if you are after this and you have been waiting a long time, I know you've been waiting a long time, and it's here. Hurrah! Finally, it's here. So that's $16.99. Now, another thing that also goes very, very quickly is, of course, your calico. If you're making up a 12 for your dressmaking, or if actually, I quite like making bags. I like this natural look fiber that we've got going on with the calico. It's just $1.99 per half meter. We had a lady earlier pop 12 units, 8, 10, all sorts of units going on. But look how lovely and wide it is. This is, your, this is your calico for your toiles. It's 162 centimetres wide. Okay, so that's wider than some of the widest dressmaking fabrics. Normally about 150 centimetres, isn't it, your dressmaking fabric? But this is 162 centimetres wide. You are getting this by the half metre. So if you wanted, like some of you put in your basket, 10 units, that's five metres of calico, then that's absolutely fine. It's just 199 per half a meter. Now, 18 of you, just pop that in your basket. Um, some of you might have 10 units. Lots of you multi, I mean, like seriously multi-buying on this. So we will run low on stock of this. I, like I say, you know, I've been asking for this for the last year since we ever start, since ever since we started, like, we must get calico in and it flies. It absolutely flies. When you see it, especially at this price, look, that's just 199. Pop it in your basket, make sure that you've got it. The only way of course to secure it is to check out your basket that's not you know that's not to, to worry you or rush you it's just if you know that you want it don't be disappointed don't you know go and make a cup of tea come back half an hour later and it's gone and then you're disappointed so 32 of you now have it in your basket and goodness knows how much of it you're buying I think the most that we've had go out in one go this morning has been 12 units that's six meters someone's gone yeah I'm not I'm not messing around Jennifer Taylor's just walked in the studio she's like yeah Six meters of calico, what I could do with that. So that's 199 for that per half a meter. Right. The tailors, whaty whaty whaty. Tailors all oh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I'm trying to find it. Uh where's it gone? Why can I not see it? Sorry? Here we go. The, oh the, the turner, turner, turner. Uh, here we go. If you would like your loops turned, then this is a tool for you. This is Prim's loop turn, it's $3.99, but you've got a little tiny hook down the bottom there. So you pop it through your fabric, you hook it on onto the edge. So that's then hooked, so you can then pull your fabric inside out. Just $3.99, again, it's just one of those handy little tools just to have in your stash. Pull it through. And there it is, that will be your loop turned for you for $3.99. VOPH83, pop that in your basket. There you go. Ba -ba -ba. Brilliant. Now, here we go, the seams right tool. Love this, love this. Now, when we first brought this to wear, it sold out. Um, I think it was... I think it was with Janice. And she said, oh, do you know what? I would buy this just for the fact that you can mark your buttonholes. So on here, it does many, many things. If we look at it, then we've got lots and lots of really handy markings. There's an inch. So especially if you're mitering corners and you want to absolutely check that all your seams are right, there's an inch there. You've got three eighths of an inch up there, five eighths of an inch there. That gap there, that along there, 
is one and a half inches just along there. You've got five eighths in that gap there and then you've got a quarter of an inch there for you. So you can really make sure that you're getting all of your seams absolutely spot on. All of those measurements that you use time and time and time again, but your buttonholes, there you go. Mark them and then you can then if you're spacing them, say you're spacing them by three quarters of an inch, mark again and then mark your buttonholes in once again. But if you're also doing your seams, maybe you want an inch seam, you can fold it over and check that you've got it right. Either mark it or press it because look, I know I've come up to that. You can always run your finger along there just to sort of finger press. And there it is, and then you just run that along your fabric, keep making sure, or if you want to, you can mark it. It's entirely up to you, but it's 10 99 and it's really handy, and it doesn't run out. The other handy thing that we've got, well, two actually handy things that we've got are the bodkins. So if you're dressmaking, if you're trying to put a drawstring through something or some elastic through, then this is a brilliant piece of kit. Now, the way that it works, grab hold of your fabric, clasp it in there, pull that down and then pull it through whatever you need. If you're working with elastic, put it in the smaller one that you get. Now you get both of these for $1.99, pop your elastic through there and then thread it through. How many times have we tried to thread elastic through with a safety pin? No good, comes undone. Now Jennifer Taylor is going to be using a whole load of these in the next hour. Oh yes she is, with the gorgeous dress that she's making. We've got some lovely crepe fabrics, so you don't want to miss out on that. So go and grab yourself a quick cuppa, we'll be back in about three minutes. Um, and it's dress making all the way next hour, see you in a moment. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Join us on Wednesday the 14th of February when Victoria Peet will be here to make a stylish patchwork poof from Simply Sewing magazine. This practical addition to your home decor uses a fun foundation paper piecing method which Victoria demonstrates along with her top tips and professional techniques for perfect results. Once you know how simple it is, you can snap up one of our kits complete with step-by-step -step instructions. We've got fabric options to suit everyone. So tune in and prepare to transform your home on Wednesday the 14th of February at 10am only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433 Email us at help at sewingquarter.com. Visit our Facebook page. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Join us on Thursday the 15th of February when Lucy Brennan takes us over the rainbow with a glorious Technicolor quilt. Mixing 10 beautiful colours including turquoise, bright red, lime green and on trend violet on a white background this design from Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine is a modern classic. As we've thoughtfully put all the fabrics required into a handy kit all you have to do is sit back and let Lucy share her tips and tricks for making it. So tune in for an hour of colourful quilting, Thursday the 15th of February at 10am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678.
Hello, welcome back. Now, we've been teasing with this all morning. Jennifer Taylor's made it for us. It's a beautiful foot and flare skirt and dress. Well, dress. It's lovely, isn't it? Really lovely. It just falls beautifully. Da, 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 da. It's got a good old, good swing there. Now, I've got this in different sizes, so don't worry. Whatever size you are, I've got it to fit you. So, I've got 14 to 23, 24 rather, 22 even. I'll just make up a number, any number. 14 to 22 helps if I actually look at the back. There you go, 14 to 22. I was thinking 23, that's a funny old number. 14 to 22, that's 7.99. Now, if, let me just, is that the one? That's the one I've got, isn't it? Yes. If you are anywhere from a size 28 waist upwards, that's the one for you. If you are smaller than that, then go for the smaller pattern. Here we go. So if you are size 6 to 14, then that is 7.99. The size 6 is a waist 23. Okay, so if you're basically 23 to 28 inch waists, this is the one for you. 7.99, TYBR 17. Now, I got all excited when I heard there were crepes on the show. I said, like, yeah, it's pancake day. No, crepe. Different. Fabrics. Beautiful. Uh, there's a little bit of a... Give on these, I love these. Now, we've got black, white, and navy for you. So the classics, basically. And look at the price. Yes, yes, yes. $2.99 per half a meter. Look how wonderfully wide that is. That's 148 wide. And a little bit of stretch in there, that's what we like. Means you can't you can have that bread roll at dinner. And there's some give. Beautiful. This is going to fit beautifully because it has got that hello spandex. Yes, that's in there. That's what we want. So this is a wonderful, wonderful fabric. Very forgiving to wear. It's going to be absolutely fab. Now, do you want this with your ivory? Are you going to go all navy or are you going to go with the ivory as well? So the classic, look at that. Doesn't that look lovely together? But on its own, here we go. And again, look at the, it's just a crazy price. $2.99 per half a meter. And again, look how wide that is. Yeah, just, and you can see how beautifully that moves. So with this fit and flare skirt, yeah, it's going to do it beautifully. It's got gorgeous movement to it, this fabric. Look at that. Really lovely. Drapes a treat, it does. Really lovely, and at that price, you can afford to splash out. Loads of you already adding it to your basket. I don't blame you. Um, it's taken us a while to get really lovely, lovely um, specialist dressmaking fabrics, but they're here now. This is your black, and this is, this is it, isn't it? So Jennifer's done it in navy and the ivory, but maybe you want the whole thing, a little black number. Little black dress, can't go wrong, can you? $2.99? Yeah. I am uh, very excited about the fact it's got spandex in it. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, now, you might want to line that. Um, the ivory is, um, is a lovely one to use, but if, uh, if you want to spare your blushes, ladies, use some lining as well. This is anti-static lining. Yeah. Oh, you know we're talking about the fray check and your pinking shears. You might want it for this. Because it's a very, very, very fine fabric. Okay, so, but look, this means that you're not going to get that static. You know when your skirt clings around your leg and just ruins the whole drape and feel? Then this is it. So, I mean, it might be just that you want to make some petticoats. People have petticoats, though. I love my petticoats if I have to wear a skirt. Put a petticoat on there. Ooh. Makes it all move beautifully. Just 149 per half a metre, and again, lovely and wide, 150 centimetres, da, 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 da. yeah, that's brilliant, I don't think, certainly not on, not on my watch, have we ever bought lining fabrics like that, not sort of petticoat type lining fabrics, anti-static, oh, uh, okay, so director Tim's seen it once before, I haven't, it's new to me, Brilliant. And again, 149 for your black anti-static lining. How many times have you actually had a petticoat and it hasn't actually, it's just wrapped around your legs and done nothing? This is brilliant. So this is your anti-static lining fabric. Yeah. 
Depends what you're after. Now, uh, Jennifer's used the black with the navy, so her top, her top part of her, um, well, the bodice, shall we call it, the bodice of her dress is all lined. It's all lined. Let me have a little look, see if I can show you that. There you go. Beautifully lined there. She's done a cracking job. Looks lovely. So I'm just going to... Uh, Wheel my way. Look at all. Beautiful swing. <laughs> Sweet. Well, hello, lady. Hello. I kind of want to go dancing. Yeah, it's a, bit a, of very, swing it's like a very swishy, swishy dress, isn't it? It's lovely. Hello. Very flattering, by the way. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. I it's like. a very flattering figure, uh, shape, isn't it? It's going to skim over the bits we need skimming, quite frankly. I like the detail on the back as well. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. So it's not going to bag or gape. Can you see there's a line, there's a seam. There you go. There you go. Around there. You've got that seam. It'll become very apparent in the demonstration because I'm going to go a little step further with our next one. Now, um, a lot of times we get to a certain, a certain age or what have you where we don't actually want the tops yeah. of our arms on display. So that's, that's a nice little It's a cap. nice little bit, yeah. Um, well, I really like this part because it's um, fully lined in the bodice. So it's all internal seams, all enclosed seams. Oh. Um, so I'm going to show you that part in our demo today. Um, but you're right about the, the little cap sleeve. It just adds that little detail in the shoulder. It just gives you a bit of coverage. Look, I like, like it. I like, I like. It is good. Well, I've got, I've got big old arms from swimming oh, and hasn't. everything else. Yeah. And it just, it's one of those things that actually I feel far more yeah. comfortable having that. And you know, just. I'm the same. I don't mm, like just the tops of my arms. Just, just a little something. Just it little, doesn't have to be much. No, just a little something. A little something. Little something. Uh, so, patterns. So, uh, yeah, so we're using the lovely crepe. So it's not crepe de chine, it's not silk. It is polyester. And as you rightly said, spandex mix, which is lovely. Gives so, you that bit of, oh, it gives you a bit of give. Um, so the great thing about it, you're getting that swooshiness that you get with your crypt machine. However, you can wash it better. <laughs> you haven't got to worry about it so Practical. much. So much more, it's so much more easier to yep. wash. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. So the first thing is, um, watch out for your pins. Test your pins on the edge of your, um, Test my pins. Uh, yes. What is it going to do uh, to Make it? sure your pins are nice and nice and sharp because okay. um, with the texture of it, um, I'm going to say rough, but it's not rough. Microscopically rough, okay? So um, Textured. It, it's textured. Um, and that's why it, it's what it is. That's why it's a crepe. Um, so it has a tendency to snag. So if you've got old pins and they're a little bit dull and you go sticking your pins in like we would normally do with our, you know, our cottons or whatever, um, you might snag and pull your, your crepe. So just do a little test on the edge of that and make sure your pins are okay or just get some nice new fresh, fine pins. What about, so am I best to use things like lace pins on this? Uh, yeah, and, and, to, and, and, fine any, or is it just no, about the sharpness? It's, it's just about making sure they're nice and clean okay. and sharp. Okay. Uh, Depending on the, with ours, a normal pin will be fine, but just make sure they're nice and sharp. Alternatively, you can grab your pattern weights as well, because this does shift. Okay. That's, there's a lot of bounce in that. Obviously, that's where the spandex element's coming in. There's a lot of, um, a lot of movement, a lot of body to it as well. So again, if you're not going to pin, then your pattern weights will come in a treat as well. So oh, get I see. Out. So pattern weights instead of pinning, you could do that. Yeah, you could do that. That's your alternative option. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, it always goes without saying, I think a good pair of scissors. So sharp pins. Which ones have you gone for today? Today. I've just gone with my normal, my lovely friskers, nice long blade, because nice. I want to get as little cutting as possible. Okay. Again, if you're a bit more confident, don't be afraid to go in with your rotary cutter, because again, you want it to be lying nice and flat. Um, like another little, cutting. another little tip would be with your pattern is to iron your pattern. I'm going to do this super quick so I can show you. And not only does it get out of the creases, so there's like a practical element to it, um, but also by ironing your pattern, mm. what it does, it creates static. Right. So what will happen is, you see how that just wants to... Just wants to cling. To cling. Yeah. So that will help in the positioning of your pattern, so it, it's sticking to the fabrics. Um, I'd like to say top tip there, top Jennifer. Top tip, do you like that one? Yeah, no, so, I do like that one. So it really does, it just wants to suck to the fabric, so that, again, that will help that from shifting, because it is, it's a slippery fabric. I didn't know. I like 
Wow. No, I'm really, really taken with that. It's a slippery fabric, so the, the static that you create, obviously, with your paper will just help attach yeah. yourself to the fabric and just help with that whole process. So uh, make sure your pins are sharp, get your pattern weights out, nice pair of sharp scissors, and other than that, you're good. It is, it is actually quite a stable. It's not as watery as I'm making it out to be. It's not like sewing water. It's not like your crepe de chines, your silks. It is well, a polyester. Hang on. What's a crepe de chine? All these technical crepe terms I need to know. What's a crepe de chine? A crepe de chine is basically, it's, it acts the same way, but it's silk. And it's just oh. like. Oh, oh, okay. It's like water. That's super posh. Whereas this is a poly, and this is a polyester spandex mix. Nice. So you wash it better, yes. you haven't got to be protective about it. Um, but it has got that same quality, that bounce that you get with your, your crepe de chine. Okay. Um, so you just need to deal with it just a little bit different. It's not like your 100% cotton, so you just go in. It can last a lifetime. You have to be a little bit more careful with this one. Okay. But other than that, you're all good. So does that mean that this is going to be um, adventurous beginner, or what are we uh, ranking this as? Yeah, I think I think an adventure. I would say adventurous beginner. A beginner could definitely tackle this pattern. Okay. But then again, with when you start using your different fabrics, you'd need to just apply things a little bit differently. And like I say, it is there is a bounce in there, so just be careful. The reason I ask that is because I don't want you. You know, I want I want you to be. It's like we have the right tools for the job. Mm. I don't want you to to go and when you know running when you can't walk. Yeah. No, is, no. is that kind of thing. So uh, the pattern, of course, you can use with cotton. We've oh, used it with this today. So uh, different looks with different... In fact, we had a show no, I would, we did it I with I would cotton. definitely, definitely go with the crepe. Honestly, go You love it, it, don't just, you? Just honestly, it's beautiful. And it ju you just feel a million dollars in it. You really do feel special in it. So it's, uh, it's definitely worth diving in. Just, just be careful because it does want to grow. It does want to okay. move around. That's the only thing. So heads up. It will want to wriggle. And you will want to wriggle and sashay once you've <laughs> yeah, got exactly. it. Once you've got it on. Exactly. Great movement. Okay, so we've got the pattern pieces. What do we so do? So we've got the pattern pieces. So the other thing I wanted to touch on as well with this pattern, I think, is really fabulous, is that it comes with a um, varied cup sizes as nice. well. So you know, normally we talk about making sure you've got your right measurements, your bust, your waist, your hips. Yes. Um, and then cutting out the appropriate size. This pattern goes one step further. Yes. And gives you an option of cup. Ah. But don't just go with what your cup is in your brassiere area. Right. Do the measurements. So in okay, the in the pattern, measure. yeah, actually measure. So when you've got your pattern, so just go with your normal bust, waist, and hip to get your appropriate pattern size. So get that at home. Mm -hmm. When you get it home, it's this section here. If I just bring it out, is this the right way? Uh, yeah. No. No. Yep. You're good. Yep. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, hello. Cups. That's the bit we're talking about here. Okay, so when you open out your tissue paper, you go, oh, there's a lot of pattern pieces in there. No, there isn't. It's repeated because of this little extra section in here. Oh, okay. okay. So how to find out what size cup you are in this pattern, you need to take an upper bust or high bust as they're calling it. So upper bust measurement and a full bust measurement. Take them away from each other. And then at the very bottom, which is just down here. There we go. Uh, the difference is whatever, whether it's one inch, two inch, or three inches or more, it will tell you which appropriate cup size for this pattern you will require. Okay, my next question. I have, and I'm sure I'm not alone in this, mm -hmm. I have certain bras that I will wear with certain things yep. because the line fit, blah, 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 blah. Um, do I wear that bra when I take those I measurements? Think so. I think so. I because think there's so. no point in measuring, you know, if they're only a bit lower. Yeah, and if then you're wearing you're like a sports bra, yeah. for instance. Yeah, no, yeah. So if, if, if you have an occasion in mind and you know that you're going to wear a certain, certain bra, certain bra to do that, uh, to do that <laughs> event, you know what I mean, to, to go to that event, then I would suggest wearing that, that particular bra. Because if you, you only need to add to, uh, like a padded bra oh, or yeah, something yeah. to and give a bit it, of a... And then it, the whole thing and changes yeah. and shifts. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So think about what you're making it for. Go and get your best bra, if you like, because it's for a special occasion. Put that well, you on, might want a bit of oomph with that, want a bit of oomph, you know. But um, that's how you work it out. So it's no more complicated than that. So it's not okay. a full bust adjustment, but what it is giving you is that, that lovely shape around that cup area. And it's so simple. You're just taking a, an upper bust measurement, which is the high bust, which is number two, and your full bust measurement there. Take away the difference. Find out what that is, whether it's one inch, two inch, or three inch. And then it will tell you which appropriate pattern piece to cut out. Nice. And if I just move this pattern out of the way very quickly it's just these two that are affected oh okay just three and six so in this case to cut out a cup d 
it's patterns three and six, whereas you're cutting out A, it might be one and four, five, or whatever and whatnot. So it's oh, just... So you've actually got different pattern you've got pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Per, oh, absolutely. that's so good. You would still see, let's say we're cutting out a size 14, because yep. that's everything fits in 14. However, I'm going to go a cup D rather than a cup C in a 14. So your dress size pattern mm. still applies, but you're able to put in the extra bust area with your cuppage, which yep. is what I really like about this pattern. Because it is, sometimes you just... Even even though you're cutting the bigger size, it still doesn't feel great around that bust area. Whereas this is giving you that cut. Well, the option. trouble is, if you were to buy uh, this in the, if you were to buy a dress like this in the shop, yeah. say you are quite well endowed, yeah, then you're going to end up. Uh, but you've got a little tiddly tiny waist. Yeah. You know, maybe this is where you hold. This is this is where your so you your could shape go for, is. You could go for a D and still but get that shape in the waist and hip. Yeah, because otherwise you'd end up buying sort of a size 16, 18. But actually, down here you're a size 12, 14. Uh, absolutely. But you've got to get these in. You got it. You have absolutely got it. Which is what I really like about this. And also, there's that flattering pilot line shaping around under the bust there. It's just, it's just, it's a really flattering shape. Um, so with the demonstration, what I'm going to do? Go on, Jen. Um, what are you going to do? I'm going to do this part in white, oh, and nice. these parts in our black crepe. Oh, hello. So Bad what one that trend. Will, so that will also do is give you that flattering line. So what I would then do is continue in the front panel in black, and then the side panels in in uh, sorry no, in white, yes. and then the, and then the side panels in black. So you can really start playing around and mixing it. So you don't have to go with just the top and bottom. Another lovely silhouette cheater, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so I wanted to that. show you those patterns because I just think it's worth it. There is a lot of tissue in there. You think, oh, there's so many pattern pieces. There's not. Relax, there's a repeat. Okay. There's a repeat of the two front and the sides. So awesome. Don't, do not panic. So we've ironed our pattern so it's nice and stuck. It's going to stick to our... I love that tip. You like that tip? No, I do really like that. Uh, right, Nick, what's next? Right then, so I'm going to move that out, out the road. Yep. Get my little pattern pieces out of the way as well. Yep, yep. Get ourselves all organised. Yep, yep. So this is what I was talking about. So we've now got our front piece. So my little uh, Mandy the Mannequin behind us now, she's in a stroke B cup. Petite. Bless her. So this is my front pattern piece. So again, all, all about the notches, ladies and gents. Make sure you're getting all of those in. And then I've gone with the side panel in the opposite colour. Okay. So if I flip that around, it'll be like that. So we'll um, get that Jen, silhouette shape. With the crepe, mm. is there a right and a wrong side? There... there <sighs> There is, but you've really got to get microscopic to figure it out. So what I would do is once you've made the just once you've folded your salvages together and you're cutting out, from that point on exactly what I've done here. So once I've cut my pattern piece, I've not done anything yet. I've peeled back my pattern, I've made a decision that the side facing me and underneath me is the wrong side. So your tailor's chalk is totally like Needed massively here. required in okay. this in this okay. situation. Um the next question is so if Whichever side doesn't matter which side is is right side which side is wrong side Yeah, the thing that presumably does matter though is your grain Yeah, definitely continue with the, everything we're doing with the grain lines if we get if I just bring our pattern back in So these are our grain lines for anyone who hasn't seen them before So that would still need to be parallel with our salvage edges. So it's this grain line here that we're talking about. Every pattern piece has one. Yeah. It's this part that is really super important to make sure that's parallel with your salvage edge. And that is clear as day. You'll, you won't be able to not see that, okay? okay. So right. don't worry about that one. But as far as the right and wrong sides, unless you really start getting microscopic and start looking at the edges of the salvage to see whether the pins are up or down, just make it, just fold it, make a decision, mark it, and then don't look back. But make sure you're doing all of your pattern pieces the same way. Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter, but just consistency is key. Consistency is always key, especially Good. with the double-sided fabric. So just, right. just do it. Um, the black one I wouldn't worry too much about. However, the white one, what I did is actually mark in the selvage edges, okay? Oh, I so, see, yeah, because you don't want... Oh, do you know, on our fan page, there was a lovely lady that posted and she'd, she'd gone in on a white fabric, she'd marked her lines for oh, quilting and yep. she'd done it in a blue pen thinking it would just come out because it said Always it would. Test. She hadn't tested. Always test. And bless her, this gorgeous quilt that she'd made blue lines all down. Straight it. through. I mean, to be mm. fair, her stitching was I know. spot on. I think I, mean, I know which stitch you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Good stitching. Just <laughs> check. Before you go marking feature. with anything, please do check, especially if you're going in with something like a blue, make sure yeah, yeah. that either, like Jen says, you're either marking in, in your seam line um, or it will come out yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Especially on, on this white one because um, it, because of the 
the texture, the, the roughness, as I'm calling it, of that, it will want to just go into those layers. So no, it will want to soak it up. So okay. just make sure you, uh, I would go on, there's just as much as you're doing your pins, making sure those are nice and safe. Do the same with your chalk. So just do it in this. A little this, safety check. So the your seam, in the seam allowances, checks. you can't go wrong. Right, what's next? Right, okay, so I'm going to take my pins out. So here's our front piece. And now this is cut on the fold. It is cut on the fold, that's right. right. So okay. if I just unravel that for you. There we go. That's a very flattering neckline. It's it? lovely, isn't it? So again, this really does want to play around. Oh, so that, that's the one thing that you need to watch, uh, watch, which is why I really went into a lot of detail on the cutting out, because it does want to move and shift around on there, okay. guys. So just be careful of that. Um, I've got a little point of reference here because we're going to be cutting into that V neckline to give us that nice shape later on. So that, yep. that tailor tap there is, is super, super important. So to stabilize this whole area when I'm sewing, I am going to go in now with a quick stay stitch into those seams before I start attaching in my, oh, okay. um, my side panels, all right? So it's, it's your prior and prep preparation, isn't it? Prevents poor performance. Absolutely. Don't skip these stages. Don't do skip you do this on a long stitch length? Uh, no, I just go with normal stitch length. Okay, but you you stitch within the, within seam, the allowance. seam allowances, so it won't be seen. It won't be seen later. When you thread that through your machine, because it it is a it is a cheeky little fabric, this you're not you're not feeding it, you're not pulling it, no, you're just no. letting the machine um, and if, the feed dogs if do your, its job. Yeah, let the feed dogs do its job. If you are really for whatever reason, I mean, this machine's awesome, so it's 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 got a lovely feed on it anyway. Um, but if in doubt, I would just go and grab your walking foot oh really yeah get your walking foot out absolutely okay anything that's just going to stop that from if for instance because some machines they're, they're not so good on the top yeah so the feet you end up with this slide and slipping where the feet the feet are doing all the work but the top part isn't grabbing it so okay. get your walker out and then that just it ensures an even feed as you're as you're going through um I, I remember the first time someone talked to me about feed dogs and i was like yeah no i fed my dogs before i left no, <laughs> no, no, no the feed dogs on the machine so they're the little the little tiny teeth the little on teeth. the bottom of your machine that pull your fabric through the machine and allow the foot to then glide over the top. Now, if you use a walking foot, then you've got you've got the teeth on the top of well. So it's yep. gonna take your fabric, pull it through, take it e uh, equally from top to bottom. Top to bottom. It's just sometimes we say these, you know, uh, drop your feed dogs or whatever, and people are like, what on earth What are, are you about? going jabbing uh, on about? <laughs> Diane in Berkshire says, lovely dress. Hello. How much fabric is needed for the largest size? Good question. That's not the, oh, oh here we go. Uh, Hmm, gosh, I'm rubbish at these. So let me have a look. Good, Jen. <laughs> so, <laughs> largest size. Yes, it's 22. 22. And what's our salvage on our uh, fabric again? It Just remind is me, it's 148 centimetres. Okay. Um, I believe. Is that right, please, Paul? Yeah. Okay, for C, which has got... Um, that's got everything. That's got that's the sleeves and everything. Everything, absolutely everything. Bearing in mind, this is not contrast. It's all in the one colour. You are looking at, I would go with uh, 2.5 metres. You only need 2.2 particularly for that, but always just... So you've got a little bit extra. A little bit extra. So 2.5 so metres. units. Two, yeah. Five units of fabric at 2.99. There you go. That's, that is C there. So five units of fabric at base effectively three pounds, five threes, 15. 15 quid for a dress like that. Oh, nice. Nice. That's bargain. Very nice. Well, you wouldn't walk away from that in the shop, would you? Gosh, no. You'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll have that. Especially not with one that, you know, actually fitted you. Actually fits me in my bust area. Nice. Wonderful. Nice. Uh, there you go, Diane. I hope that helped. Okay, so what I'm doing now is attaching my side piece to my front section, really nice which is a little bit, a little bit scary because obviously we're working with curved spaces. Yeah. So again, yeah, yeah. make sure you've got your notches in place. And then my tip would be, because this part is the fuller part, the black um, crepe there in comparison with the underneath. You can see I've got a lot of fabric hair, but it doesn't look like I've got that much underneath. A lot there, yeah. but not much underneath. I would make that be the underside. So the shorter side underneath me, Right. And then I would manually ease that in. Now, Jen, you stay stitched the white. Stay stitched the white. But you haven't stay, stay stitched, stitched the, the, black. the black. You can do, but for speed, I'm going to go ahead and do it oh, with okay. that. Okay. So I didn't know if that was just meant that you could get it to work around. Uh, the crate will move around enough as it is. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so... Um, Don't worry about that. So, 
you know, whereas you know what I'm like at, at home, guys, I would not normally pin like that, would I? I'd just go, I'd go for it, wouldn't I? Whereas no. with this, you really, really pin, can't. Pin, pin. So pin, 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 pin. Um, so that's eased in. So now I'm ready to go in. So this time, um, it's not a stay stitch, it's an actual stitch. So you need to make sure you're using your seam allowance, which is 1.5 on the pattern. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go in on that one side. Do you forward and back your stitch or anything before you go? Because I'm sewing quickly, I don't because I know at, so, at some point I'm going to go in on the armhole, I'm going to be attaching the skirt in. So if you are going to be doing a bit of this, going away, making tea, coming back to it another day, go backwards and forwards. Do, But right. if, if you know I'm going, to dead, I'm going to get this done today, I don't. I just, because I know it's going to be in the next five minutes, I'm going to be sewing over that okay. seam again All right. anyway. All right. It's just what I do. But if, you, if you've got a dog walk planned or a bit of shopping oh, or something, yeah. then... It's entirely up to you. Okay. Not everyone has, has a dedicated day for sewing, do they? So No, or even a dedicated space. You know, that, yeah, that's yeah. the other thing, isn't it? If you've got to pack this away because, you know, people want to eat off the table, what's wrong with them? Then, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> can I have another TV dinner? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Although it, I, I actually understood what it felt like the other day because, um, where you know, before I had the she shed, the she I, shed? I, I was in yes. the dining room. Yes. Well, since I've had the de she said I've, I've really enjoyed eating on a table. It's been fabulous. However, this <laughs> so this, much better for the digestion. So much better for the digestion. <laughs> However, my husband had to set up his what? decks the other what? day to do a show because of his music. DJ Kirk. And stuff. DJ Kirk. What's going on? And he took over the dining room, and I was like, "This is what it feels like." I was like, "I'm, I'm, Bobby, I'm making dinner. Over the house. I'm making dinner. Why want the table?" And I realised <laughs> what I'd put him through for that. like so. I'm so glad I got the she shed now. It's probably why. <laughs> so you know. Oh, the foot, the shoe was definitely on the other foot the other Aww. day. Bless him. Okay, my next question to you, Jen. Yes, darling. Because it's probably really obvious to half of you out there, but to me it's not. If I'm sewing black and white, because you're doing contrast here, so yeah. we're going to have the white central panel and then, you know, something to make us look a little bit more. <whistles> um, do I sew in white or black thread? Well, I went with black so you could see it. But I would probably just. But then go you black. sewed on the black, so we couldn't anyway. Yeah, but, yeah. So it doesn't. So it doesn't matter. Or no. Does it? Uh, personal preference. Go with grey. Just go with grey. <laughs> no, I think because you're sewing into black and it's the more dominant colour, I've gone with black. Okay. Uh, try it with the white, see if it makes a difference. But um, I'm happy to use the black okay. on this one because you can see what we're doing, to be honest. Yeah. But um, no, I think if I just separate that, it's kind of merging into each other anyway. Okay. I didn't know if there was like a... If there is a rule, let me know. I, I don't know. <laughs> We'd like to I know. I don't then. know. Right, so I've, I've gone ahead and put the one side in. I will do the other side, but um, do you want me to do that now or do you want me to do the pressing of the seam? Can we press the seam? Yeah. Because um, whilst you sew the opposite side you in... You can go do some fabric I'll stuff. go talk, talk fabrics go with talk you. Fabric. So do you want to get the little mat out? Love to. Grab the, uh, grab yes, the boss. Hand. Um, Okay, so you mentioned earlier about our um, lovely linings, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. And how it, once you've cut that, it just goes... <laughs> the same with this. Totally the same with this. So get your pinkers out if you've got your overlocker, fab. If not, definitely get your pinkers out. Oh, as in fraying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. You know what I mean. <laughs> we all know. It just disappears, doesn't it, once you yes. start? So definitely, 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 definitely. Oh, now, Diana says, out. could I do this um, on an overlocker or does slippery fabric make it awkward, says Diana? Uh, you could do it on an overlocker, although I would want the precision of my sewing machine. Um, right. So it, it's down to personal preference. Obviously, with the overlocker, it has a great... Um, it's almost got a built-in walking yeah. foot. Um, so from that side, yes, go for it. However, I personally would want to... Sew on the sewing machine and finish my edges off with my overlocker. It's personal oh, okay. preference. Okay. Personal preference. All right. I'm with you. There you go, Diana. It, it, yeah. No, I think that's fair enough. No, you can sew anything on an overlocker. It just depends on how confident you are. I, do you know, now that I've actually braved getting my overlocker out, I love it. Don't put it away. Oh, no, it's, it's definitely one of those you just have on the side. Oh, where, without a doubt. Where has it been all my life? <laughs> where has it been all I your life? Know. Right then, so the reason why I've got my, um, this is Taylor's hand by the way, you were showing that. 11 pounds. 11 pounds yeah. on the last hour. Um, I do think they're invaluable when you're doing things like princess seams. Is that what this is? Yeah, so okay. this is a princess seam shape here. 
that sort of, it's basically a dart that comes in from the side of the bus and then goes down into the front of okay. the um, the tummy. Um, and it just has that beautiful shape, but it's they're very hard to press because they're on a curve. Whereas this ham is replicating my body shape. So yes. I'm just going to be pressing my seams open. I am going to use a quick cloth. Um, again, with the, the crepe, I would go with a dry to a medium iron because it will want to kind of... Okay. Shrink up a little bit. So we, if ever you've washed crepe before, it always feels like when it's when it's wet, it feels like it's ten times smaller than it needs to be. It's only when it starts to dry, it starts to relax. Should I wash this before I use it? Always, 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 always wash your fabrics before you use them. Yes. There's nothing worse, is there? And no, it's there's shrinking nothing in the worse. wash and then having to dye. Yeah. It so don't, you can when wear you do it, wash it, don't panic if it looks like oh that feels really weird. It, it that's that's. For you know you. when you wash jumpers and you're meant to lie them flat. I say meant to because I never do. Uh, you're meant to lie them flat to yes, dry yes. because you know the the it's a knit. Yes, yes. Is this the same? Am I meant to lie this flat to dry, or don't worry about it. No, you don't have to worry about lying it flat. Um, I mean, it's, even though it feels like a knit, it's actually a woven fabric. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, it's just the the sort of coarseness of the threads that gives it that kind of knitted feel. Like because okay. it does feel it's very yeah, textured, yeah, yeah. isn't so it? I wasn't sure. Right, okay, so I've pressed that now with my uh, lovely iron, but it just gives you that oh, wonderful yeah, shape that. in that area. You, you really can't get that without your ham, otherwise you'll end up with sort of like the edge of the iron on the seam and you don't really and want that. And it's true, isn't it? You know, this first press, this sets, I was going to say sets the seam, sets the seam <laughs> actually oh, yeah. for the rest of the dress, no, doesn't absolutely. it? Once, once that seam is in, that first press. Makes all the difference. Yeah. Makes all the difference. Nice. I'm going to leave you right, I'm gonna get on. To, to sew the exactly the same other yep. side. Same so don't panic. Side. I'm not, you know, leaving Jen to do something magical. And uh, no, we're not going to see it. But Magic. I do want to show you the fabric. All right. See you in a bit. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, uh, let's have a look. So we've got um, black, white, well, I say white ivory and navy so they are our options the one that jen has made it out of is they go is navy and ivory fabulous so the navy crepe is 2.99 per half a meter yeah half the stock has gone i'm so pleased now you see this dress dress it up dress it down with your jewelry but it can't you know this is going to go you know they talk about going day to night it is that dress you know, wear it with a flat pair of pumps during the day and then it'll whack on a pair of heels and it's going to take you into the evening. 19 of you have got this in your basket at the moment I, I, in various amounts, but it is just 2 99 Remember, when we sell fabrics by the half metre, it's for you to decide how much you want. So in that quantity box, that's where you decide how much and it's in half metre increments. So two... Um, Two in the quantity box will give you a metre of fabric. Now, remember Jen said earlier, two and a half metres, that's five units, will give you enough to do the whole thing at the very largest size with sleeves, everything, everything. Uh, now, here's your ivory. It just feels so beautiful. I'm going to drape that over my arm so you can really see. If you're someone that likes to, you know, shake a tail feather on the old dance floor, this is I grew up with my nanny Mew always making her own dresses for ballroom dancing. And I'm sure this one would have given her a lovely, whoo would have given her a lovely swirl and a twirl. But actually, sometimes, you know when you put on a dress and it's, it's got that, that sort of, whoosh, 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 it just makes, I don't know, it gives you like an extra little skip in your step, doesn't it? Because you know that it's, you're going to be, whoo as you go. Uh, here we go. Now, this is the black. This is the last of our colour options. Now, Jen, at uh, this hour, is using the black and the ivory. It's a very, very smart, timeless combination. Whether you're going for the navy or the black and the ivory, mix them up. It's just going to be fabulous whichever way you go. It's just that classic, timeless combination. $2.99 per half meter. What a fabulous price. 20 of you have this in your basket at the moment. It's not yours until you check out. I'm, I'm only saying that because I don't want you to be disappointed because this stock is going fast. It's taken us a while to, to find you wonderful wonderful um, dressmaking fabric and you know we've really sourced some lovely ones so please make sure you don't miss out on these so they are your crepes now let's have a look at the lining this is your black lining again get your pinking shears or your fray check out with this 
Woohoo! Anti-static. This is 149 per half a meter, but it's not going to static up. It's not going to be one of those ones that clings to your tights. That's so annoying. It's going to give a lovely, lovely movement to anything that you then have over the top because it's anti-static. So it's not going to get static with whatever you've got over the top. It's not going to get static on your tights because there's nothing more annoying. Boys, boys in here, but they won't, they won't understand it. They don't understand the problem with static and tights. It's just, just there. Uh, and then, of course, you've got, whoops, your ivory lining here. And again, just 149 per half a metre. You know, you might suddenly realise that actually you want to whiz a couple of, um, a couple of, of um, what's the word I want? Little, little slips. That's the word I want, just to, you know, just to go under some of your skirts. If you're thinking, oh, yeah, no, actually, love that skirt, but my word gets a bit stackety, stack st staticky. <gasps> Teeth back in this morning. I've got two pattern sizes I'll show you over here. Producer Paul, actually, you've got access to the website. Can you tell me, have we got on the pictures um, the sizings for the amount of fabric on the back? Okay, so if you want to do, um, you know, the combination like Jen's done, have a look. So when you have a look at the patterns, click on the patterns on the website because one of the photos will show you how much fabric you need. So yes. you can sit and work it all out. Mm -hmm. So we've got the 6 to 14 on there. So go down, have a look. You've got three different pictures. Scroll through the different pictures. Click on that one. That will enlarge it. Oh, it's just a little bit slow today. I know how it feels. There you go. And you can zoom in. I love that. I love a good zoom. I do you like a zoom? Yeah, no, no. You can zoom in and then you can check how much fabric you need. There you go. So that's the 6 to 14. And exactly the same uh, with the 14 to 22. Yes. Or 23 or 24, as I like to call it. 22. Exactly 22. I, I know Producer Paul is like, it's 22. I know, I'm joking. Right. Okay, so before we move on, I'm just going to show you the back. Uh, piece very quickly. Okay, yes. So you can really see on this one that I've just quickly sewn up. You can see that beautiful line now on the uh, on the back piece. It's there. a good swoop, it's isn't nice, it? It's nice, isn't it? Very flattering shape there. So you can really see that with that contrast uh, piece. So is that my central back piece? So that central back, and that would be as you look at the person, their left hand side. So, so the, that's the scene that you showed us at the very start. And went, at the very start. Look at, look at this lovely little shape going on there. So I'm just going to repeat the process on my other piece. So this is my other one. So again, I know which side is the right and wrong side because I did my little tailor's yes, chalk section did. there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we are. There you go. So that's my tailor's chalk there. You see it's in the seam allowance, so that won't go astray. So I've got the right side facing up at the moment. So now I'm going to go and grab my other piece. Right sides facing together. And again, this is where you really want to make sure your notches are leaning up. Because not only is this crepe doing that, you've also got a bias cut here as well. So We don't stay stitching anything. Uh, you can stay stitch, always stay mm -hmm. stitch, but I'm speeding ahead. Um, yeah, so just, just be careful. So what's going to happen is, if I just flip that over, it's going to look like at the bottom of the pattern that it doesn't fit. Hang on, hang on. Yes, it does look like that. Okay. Think of your bias binding. Okay. You know, we have your dog ears. Yes. So your seam uh, will come in at this section here. So don't worry oh, about that. So, so that, if you measure in, will be um, a centimetre and a half. Yes, exactly. So oh, don't try and pull, because you can very, yeah. very easily pull this yeah. crepe to make those match. Do not do that. Then that will so be you, me. That will be you. Yeah. Christina says, hi, Natasha. If I were to make the dress in navy and ivory, size 10, how much of each colour would I need? Love, Christina. Oh, what combo are you going with? Oh, yeah. Well, look, we can... Yeah, OK, so... Hmm. Okay. Blue on the top, or...? I think let's just give the different contrast colours. Uh, oh, gosh, I'm rubbish at this. Do you want a hand? Yes, please. <laughs> I don't want to give you the wrong size, information. What size again? Size 10. Size 10, how much of each colour would I need? On the contrast. Okay, so you'd need one and a half metres. That would be for the skirt part. Okay. And you'd need one metre for the top part. It's, it's, so you only need like 60, but you, you, you can't... Yeah, you've yeah, got that so little you bit need, extra. And then you've got extra then. So if you do decide to put a sleeve in, you can put a sleeve in. Okay. In the contrast. So yeah, just to recap, because it's one and just short of 
150, or it is 150, isn't it? Yeah. So it's one and a half for the bottom and 60 or one metre for the contrast. One, yeah, it's one, 148. There you go, Christine. I hope that helps. I'm really rubbish at reading those patterns. My eyes just cross over. You just need to get used to looking at it. I know. It. It's, it's just getting your eye in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now, so you're just going to sew down that. So I'm just sewing down there. So just, again, just be careful that you're not pulling and stretching this. So yes, it has got the spandex in, but we're also dealing with quite a, um, a bias cut as well. So you just need to be super careful. So we're going all the way down. So this is, I mean, if anything's going to stretch, this is the moment. If this is the it? one that's going to go. Okay. And a little tip as well is I like to just tap, I know it sounds really silly, but tap the fabric and it just kind of like pushes the air out of it. Like it is bouncy anyway. Okay. Um, but sometimes the air between the two layers really makes it move around more. So I like, I, it's just a silly thing, but I, I like to tap my fabric. <laughs> no, it's a bit like tapping tap, when you lay in your lawn, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, same process. So um, that's what I'm doing with my, uh, my fabric. Possibly laying a new thing. lawn and dressmaking has never been, you know, compared the in the same sentence. But, you know, it's something new for everything. So there you go. So you can see now that that stitch where that dog ear we talked about. Perfect. meeting in the middle there. So don't be afraid of that little bit there. It's not longer than it should be. It has got that shape. So when you open it out, you can see that you've got a nice continuous line now at the yeah. very bottom. All right, so don't panic when you see that. When I saw that, I thought that that's going to be a little hiccup. That'll be a hiccup. Um, it's one of those areas, areas of concern that I would worry about. <laughs> yes, definitely. Because, you know, I, and I've, I've got my head around that now with quilting. That's fine. Um, but with this... It's the same. No, it's same. Learning. Just need to transfer those skills. Right, so let's get the shoulders in. And then uh, what we can then do, because I've already gone ahead and sewed our... Uh, linings together. Does so the lining happen in exactly the same way? Yes, yeah, so the process that you're sewing the pieces together is repeated with the lining okay. section, so there's nothing different. My next question is, would you then go black lining for the black bits and white lining for the white, or would you do all of the lining in white? For speed, I've just gone all white. Okay. If, if, That's uh, all white? Yeah, all white. I've just, all white. I have actually gone all white on that. Um, but if you really didn't like the look, because, you know, you might see a little bit of the lining in the armhole, for instance, then, yes, you, could, you can mix and match your, your white and your black. Definitely. Okay, Georgia says, great show as usual, but can I wear this fabric as I spend my life in a wheelchair? All the best. Oh, it's the best kind of fabric for that. Yeah. It is very, very forgiving. In fact, it's a great one for holiday, because you just let it hang. It's a great one. It's a fantastic one. So it's just going to flow. It's just going to flow. It, yeah. won't, um, it won't crease as such. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so well, lovely it's, then. It's a good one. Yeah, great. Very good one. Uh, Christina says, I would probably go with the navy bottom and ivory top. Love all the demos and thank you for your help. Love, Christina. Happy to help. You're very there welcome. We I, I want so a that picture when you're done, please. Um, a, a metre and a half on the bottom then and um, a metre of your ivory for the top. Then, Christina. Yeah, there that's you go. the one. So that's one shoulder done. I'm just going to do the other shoulder now. Again, guys, please, at home, pin, 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 pin. Oh, producer Paul, so you've got to start checking out on that pattern. Um, and likewise on the crate. So basically, if you've got it in your basket, check out. Because um, to secure it, that's the only way to make sure you've actually, actually got it. Brilliant. And I, I want one of these. You want one? Well, I want to, you know, sashay and scarf. I've got a wedding coming up. In, oh, no, um, this is a fab one. And then once you've worn it for the wedding, it's a great one for, the, for work. A work outfit, I think. Don't think. Yeah. You don't seem convinced about that. Well, no, one. I'm just thinking <laughs> I work here, don't I? You'd look fab in this. Especially this one that I'm doing now. The yeah. black and the white. I didn't ever really think of wearing skirts to work. I'm a jeans girl. That's true. But then where would you put your pack? So you, you're probably right. Or you'd have to have one of those mic belt things. Oh, and that, that, all that stuff. Right, okay. Right then, okay. Anti-static. Anti-static, always helpful. Right, okay, so before we... So it's exactly the same. <laughs> she says, there you go. Front, oh, yeah, like that. Okay. It's exactly the same as that. It's just in the lining, okay? okay. It's in the lining. But before we get to that part, yeah. we just need to go in and do um, another line of stay stitching, and it's for this neckline here, because we are going to be cutting into it. So this is where that, that tack I talked about at the yes. very, very beginning, that's the important one. So I'm going to go in with that now. But you're going to be trimming down that, down to that tack that you, Taylor's tack yeah, you left Yeah, there'll be a, one of those <laughs> cuts. Coming so, up. but the tailor tack. So, you still do your stay stitch within the seam allowance. No, you do it on the seam. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a tricky one. So it's a one point. <laughs> it's a good puzzle. So it's a one point five seam allowance on this. Okay. I'm going to be sewing right up to that. Do I do one more? 
Yep. Oh. Yay. Do you know what I would I would absolutely be having this marked, <laughs> drawn on. I don't know, I'd get my sharpies out anything. Get your sharpies Make sure out. I knew I was no, don't use sharpies on this for goodness sake, I'm being silly. But you know what I mean? I would I wouldn't necessarily trust myself. I I know my limitations. <laughs> Hey, you don't do it all you, the way. Just no, do no, no, no. Just, just that little section in there. Okay, oh. I'll make the cut later, but you definitely need to go ahead and do that little stay stitching okay. first. So if I show you that very quickly. There you go. All right. So there it is. There's your stay stitching in the neckline. Yeah. Into the point of the V. I can take that out now. Okay. In fact, I'll do that now before I forget. Right, so now it's the lining. Now, another thing I like about this is that there's no raw edges. It's a really clean, really, it's really smart on the inside as well as on the outside. It's nice. fab. Totally fab. Right, okay, so if you are going to put a sleeve in, you would go ahead and do that now. I've got a sleeve here. I'm not going to put it in, but I do like it because it's um, a cap sleeve and you would do it with it open so you don't sew the side seeds together. All right, so that would get oh, inserted okay. first. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right? yeah. Um, and then when you're doing your lining, you need to bring that, once you've sewn it in, bring it in and it's going to sit into that section there. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm not going to do the sleeve, I'm going to do the, uh, the lining instead. But if you are going to put your little cap sleeves on, mm. make sure you put that on first. You do it with it opened out, so yeah. it's an open sleeve insertion. And then you turn it in and then you're going to do what I'm going to do now. Okay. Okay. Move that out of the way. Right. So here we have our front section. Now, this will have a zip in the back. We've got zips on the website. So we're not going to demo the zip today because actually I haven't seen a lining go in. I've seen linings in bags, but it's a bit yeah. different. So we were really, really keen to show you the lining, especially we had that wonderful... Um, uh, buh, 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 buh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm just trying to find my zips. Um, yeah, especially if we've got that wonderful lining fabric in there. So if you want your zips, we've got a black one and we've got a white one. It's as easy as that, really. So this is your black one. I might even take it out of the packet. Let's go crazy. I, think I might have one open. Oh, have you got one? Oh, I have come in the other room. Sorry. Um, it's 56 centimetres. It's a YKK zip, and I'm waiting for producer Paul to tell me that that is the most popular make of zip. He likes that fact. Just like that one. Yeah, no. He says, well, it is. How about, I'm not, it has, he has not making it up. He's just, you know, over a billion have sold, apparently. And then there it is in the white. So whichever one you want. And that's at 2 .99. Now, uh, hook and eyes as well. Yeah, you'll need those. Hang on, hang on. I've got all sorts down here in my little trolley. Um, hook and eyes, hook and eyes, hook and eyes. We've got them in two different sizes. So if you want a bigger one, and again, it's just, it just helps the top of your dress, doesn't it? So your zip doesn't come undone. Yeah. So that's your size three. I've got a size two and a size three. Size three is bigger. If you think about your um, sort of European sizings, a size three is, is the big size, isn't it? So think of it as going up like that. So that's £1.49 EAGQ35 for that. And then if you want the little ones, these are rust proof brass too. Then there you go. No. That's your size uh, 14 of those. That's size two. And then if you want interfacing, do I need interfacing if I'm lining? Nope. Okay, but if you're not lining, grab yourself some interfacing. Uh, I've got black and I've got white. So there we go. If you're, oh, I like how we've got black interfacing. Don't always have that hanging around. Yeah, there. no, it's a, a good one to have. Uh, so there you go. Oh the, oh, the white one's up on the screen there, so I'll show you the white one. So there's two ninety nine G C uh, G C G G C G G. G, -G. Oh, I can't oh, that's speak. a nice one for you today. C G G G G G C G G G. Okay. Um, so another little problem you may encounter when you're doing this section yes. um, is because we talk about the, the crepe being quite slippy, there'll be points where you're like, oh, I've cut that too small or too big. It, it's a case of easing the crepe into the section. So you're, Because what are you actually doing with so, that bit? Sorry, my darling, let me just recap. So what I've done, if I just twist that around, I've made sure that I've pinned in my little points of reference. So in this case, it's the V in the bottom. It's the shoulder seams, mm -hmm. and then it's that seam in the back, and then obviously where the zip would go in. So this is right sides together. Right sides together. Your lining and your it line external. It, yeah, and there'll be notches along the point as well, but the seams are the big one. So you want to make sure the seam finish where the, the shoulder seams point together are matching the shoulder seams here. Okay. 
Okay. And they're open. And they would be open, that's okay. right. So obviously pressing, again, is always worth it. But when you're doing that, you'll, you'll become to a point, especially on that long section again, it's a, uh, cut on the, um, the bias, be, it, because the way the crate moves so much, and it, it, like I say, it's quite bouncy, it's got a lot of body, um, it'll be like, oh, that's too big. It's not. You've just got to pin, trust the pinning. So pin in the shoulder seam, pin in the points of reference in your notches, and it will ease into place. It will want to stretch, because the spandex, it will want to stretch. So just be, be aware of Is that. Is that a love-hate spandex relationship there? Oh, you've got to love a bit of spandex. Um, now, uh, you've got three minutes. That's fine. The other thing I was going to say is, is, is this a job for a walking foot then? Um, again, it's, it depends on how confident you are. It's not going to hurt putting the walking foot on. Okay. You can do it with your machine. I'm going to do it with the machine. I know, but you're a pro. Yeah, but it, it, it's, it's what you have at times. But if you have your walking foot, it's just get it out. Just get it out. Just do it. Probably taking far too much time on this, but let's... Uh... But it is, it's notch, notch to notch. Not, the notches are there to help you guys. So there's the first one there. But There's you don't have to there. rush this at, at home. Oh, no. you know, you're not up against the fact you've only got three minutes left. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. Right, let's go for it. Okay. So I'm going to go and do the neckline first. Right. Which is that part. So all the way down and up. Front and back. Okay. In a wanna. Do you just go with your normal stitch length? on all of this i do yeah so whatever the whatever the machine sort of whatever it's normal one is um, stick with that well again no, everyone's machine is different so before i came on here i had a little play around with the machine checked the you know the needles nice and sharp and that i'm happy with the way the stitches are yeah. so it might be that you want to play around with them it's just depending on the finish but it, you know each machine's different okay. the, the age of the machine comes into play as well so you know it's it, it, for this you you have cut uh, little off cuts don't you when you're cutting around your pattern pieces grab yourself one of those have a little play but mm -hmm. as far as decreasing it like you would do in a dart for instance at the base of the dart just to add extra strength yeah it, no you don't there's, it's not a, a sort of hard and fast rule on okay. that does that answer the question yeah. i hope so right okay so i'm going down the v section now so what's great about using the white line is I can really see where my stay stitching is, so I can just make sure that I'm just going just shy of the left-hand side of it. Okay. Nice. Um, slow. That's that bit. So now I'm pivoting in that dart, sorry, that V in the front. Yep. Because that's the crucial bit, isn't it? That's where yes. all the eyes are going. That's the... Well, it is, and especially if you're wearing lots of jewellery, that's where it's all going to be. Are the eyes the going to be drawn The focus is to? going to yeah. be there, definitely. Because that's where, you know, I was thinking, you know, if you are wearing this in the office, then, you know, maybe a little necklace. But then if you want to zhuzh it up for a wedding or an evening out or going out for dinner. And what actually, what great fabric for something going out for dinner because you've got that little bit of give. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Perfect. So I'm just going over the shoulder seam now. Please check out your baskets, by the way. Don't miss out on this. It's looking lovely. So we've got just under a minute. A minute? Okay. Well, let's do the cut and then we'll mimic the other side. I've just done what I hate, which is so over a pin. Okay. Oh, um, some of you have been rushed. asking while we've been on air. This fabric, normally have, we have a quilt up there, but uh, we've got brand new fabrics next hour. So just a lot of you are saying, hang on, hang on, where's your normal quilt gone? What's going on there? Well, that's our new fabric coming up next hour. Just some of it. We've got a lot of others. We are really out of time. Right, okay, this. fine. I won't do it. Um, so this is where you make the cut. So once you've done that sew, yes. then you go in with your scissors, which is okay. we all hate doing, which is going right up to that stitch line. Like so, so that allows it to break. Mm -hmm. Um, you would have stitched around the armholes on both sides. Yes. And then what you're then going to do is turn it in, turn it inside out. So you nice. take the back piece, this yep. piece, under, in through the armhole and out through the front of the body. So if you go from the front, it won't work because you've got that V section. Oh, so, so you've got to go back to front. Yeah, so think of it as a road. You've got two roads leading into one. It's a fork. You can't come this way, so you've got to go that way. So these pieces go inside and out, and it gives you a nice enclosed neckline and armholes. It's brilliant. I love it. And this is how it's going to look. ba -da! Ba -da! Back in an hour. I am. With a backpack. Back with a backpack. Back with a backpack. Beautiful. I love this dress. Thank you so, so much. You're welcome. Gorgeous. It's been a bit. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. There it is. 
looking good. Uh, now, if you are like me and you're not all that confident with your dressmaking, calico is the way to go. First of all, make yourself a toile, make sure that you're happy with the design, that you've got, uh, you know, you've done the right bust size and all that kind of thing. So this is your calico here. This is just $1.99. Um, 57 of you at this moment have this in your basket. If everybody had two meters, it's sold out. Now, bear in mind that some of you bought six meters earlier, five meters, there's all sorts of sizes. So all I can really stress here is that I know the calico sells out every time we bring it to air. So please, please, please check out your basket for the calico. Uh, we've, we bought that on today because we knew it was dressmaking, very important. Um, I use it for all sorts of different things. Now, uh, so that is your calico. Now, most popular is the navy crepe. Here we go. So, again, this is 148 centimetres selvage to selvage. Ooh, there it is. And this, look at the price, just 2 .99. This is making this so affordable. XK0B49. Now, we've got it also in ivory and in black. So, which size, which colour is up to you? Uh, so, ivory is the next one that I'm going to show you. And again, all the same price here, just two ninety nine for half a meter. So even with the largest size, with the sleeves and everything, you're looking at about just under fifteen pounds for your two and a half meters of fabric. Twenty two of you have this in the mas uh, in, in the basket in the basket. <laughs> so two ninety nine, VH, OB eighty one, and then the black. It just look look at that. It just feels so beautiful but it's also gonna be easy to wash and wear. And then your black, here it is, your classic. I mean, so that could be a little black dress. Wouldn't that be lovely? Little black dress, there it is. Just look at that movement in there. Drape is absolutely gorgeous. And that's 2.99, again, per half a meter. Now, you might want to line it. I would really recommend that. Um, all of those are down on the on the website. So please check out on the pattern. Please check out on the anti-static lining fabrics. That's the first time I've seen it. I know it's been on before, but brand new with me. Now, coming up after the break, we've got brand new fabrics. We've got, well, that's the Erin McMorris. Beautiful. And we've also got brand new Dashwood for you. So two new collections coming up very, very shortly. So, uh, well, about three minutes. So check out those baskets. Make sure you're not missing out on anything. And certainly don't miss out on the new uh, on the new fabrics next hour. I'll see you in three minutes. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Join us on Thursday the 15th of February when Lucy Brennan takes us over the rainbow with a glorious Technicolor quilt. Mixing 10 beautiful colours including turquoise, bright red, lime green and on-trend violet on a white background, this design from Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine is a modern classic. As we've thoughtfully put all the fabrics required into a handy kit, all you have to do is sit back and let Lucy share her tips and tricks for making it. So tune in for an hour of colourful quilting, Thursday the 15th of February at 10am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, Follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Join us on Wednesday the 14th of February when Victoria Pete will be here to make a stylish patchwork poof from Simply Sewing magazine. This practical addition to your home decor uses a fun foundation paper piecing method which Victoria demonstrates along with her top tips and professional techniques for perfect results. 
Once you know how simple it is, you can snap up one of our kits complete with step-by-step instructions. We've got fabric options to suit everyone. So tune in and prepare to transform your home on Wednesday the 14th of February at 10 a.m. only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Sewing Quarter is the UK's first TV channel dedicated to sewing and quilting. On air and behind the scenes, our team of top industry experts work hard to bring you tons of exciting projects. Whether you're into dressmaking, bag making, piecing, patchworking or quilting, you'll learn something new every day from our talented guest designers and fabulous presenters. Our online shop is packed with tools, haberdashery essentials and fabulous fabrics from simple solids to designer gems. And with our 30 day money back guarantee and single daily postage charge, you can shop with confidence. So tune in daily on Freeview 78, Sky Channel 678 and shop online at sewingquarter.com. Love Patchwork and Quilting is the best selling modern quilting magazine that shares your passion for fabric. We publish 13 times a year, featuring must-make projects, essential techniques, interviews, news and reviews from the world of modern quilting. Every issue also comes with a free gift. Yes, it's that hour where we bring you brand new fabrics. <laughs> now, a lot of you eagle-eyed, you are an eagle-eyed bunch, I have to say, have already spotted this because normally we have a beautiful quilt up there. But this morning, right, you know what? We're going to give you a little sneaky peek. And this is our brand new Erin McMorris range for you. And that's how they look together. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, if you say, well, who is Erin McMorris? She's an American designer. Uh, she's done been at fashion school uh, she's design school and um, all sorts of different different places to train to do your fabric design and various different other kinds of design um, you might have seen some of her designs in bedding children's apparel women's apparel um, also in, in stationery as well these patterns are very incredibly popular so she's been all over the place she's doodled all over the world she says and uh, and these are the fabrics that we have from her these are brand new today now if you want to buy all of them then why not this is how you would do it so this is a half a meter of each and that would give you all of these okay a half a meter of all of these and then you've got those fresh gorgeous colors ready to go and this is very much her signature um, I think in terms of colorways from from the designs that I've seen that we've had on the shows it's she's very much these bright fresh um, spring-like happy colors you know I mean just look at this that gorgeous array of color through there just beautiful um, so you've got your florals then you've got that sort of slightly more abstract but still very florally then you've got a geometric and then you've got something a little bit more abstract, but still tying in beautifully with the colorways and everything else. So maybe uh, you want to use that for lining, this for the outside, it's entirely up to you. If you're quilting, of course, then you've got that whole array of, of the various different sizes, patterns, different colors, you've got all of that going. So if you'd like a half a meter of each of these, it's um, 29 49 and you can get the whole lot. So you're not having to worry about, oh, hang on, have I got the right code or da 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 da, da. All of those, all of those just done in, in one go. Let's not faff again. We like to bring you brand new fabrics. We do. Whenever we can, we like to bring you brand new fabrics. And here, I mean, just look at these. I love this. I love the fact that there's no right or wrong way. It's multi-directional. Uh, you've got some flowers going one way, some going the other. This, I think, out of my collection is possibly my favourite. There you go. When you, when you blow dandelions, you make a wish. But then also, when you were a kid, did you used to do that thing where you put a blob of paint on the, and then you got a straw? 
and you blew the, it, it, it reminds me of that bit as well. No, just me, happily blowing paint around the place. Okay, I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, when you're about five, Tim, exactly when you're about five. Well, I have a four-year-old, so we're, I'm reliving the, the whole joy of it. You see? Okay, these are how they look together. Aren't they beautiful? Fresh, inspiring. Yeah. Absolutely love these. But you can also buy them by the half meter. Okay, so let's put those to one side and just concentrate on this one here. Isn't this going to be absolutely beautiful um, on bags and things like this? Now, we're looking at £7.49 per half metre. This is a full metre. And I wanted you, so that would be two units, but I wanted you to see that pattern repeat. Because actually, yeah, look at that. From afar, incredibly pretty. And then you get in, you get more detail as you get close up but just a beautiful looking pattern from afar. They do, patterns look so different from, from a way away. Look at that. So we know you love your brand new fabrics. We know that you like to get them in super, super quick. And so this is how we do them. We'll do a show where we just bring you the fabrics and then we'll do other shows where we, we put them into different designs, different things to make. But if you've already got them at home, then you can be ahead of the game. So 7.49 and you decide how much you would like so that is your spring water. Beautiful. Now then. Uh, well, just Paul, I did, I think this one and the next one are my favourites. But I don't know, I didn't know if I was allowed favourites on new fabrics. Sometimes I'm allowed fabrics, sometimes I'm not. Uh, favourites rather, here we go. <laughs> director Tim says, you're not allowed fabric. Oh, but I am. That's the perk of the job, isn't it? That I get to play with all these gorgeous fabrics. Look at that. I'm going to hold that up so that you can see again from afar. You can really see actually why these have been used in dressmaking, how these have been used for, um, for bed linen. It's really lovely. Really beautiful. And of course, if you are um, English paper piecing, it's my new thing at the moment, it's a spot of English paper piecing, then you can have lots of fun taking out different elements of this. A really beautiful array of colours in there. But this is, this is one of those colourways that it, you're never going to tire of it. And it's, it just makes me feel happy. Colours do that, don't they? They can have such an effect. And this is proper, proper, proper happy colours. Maybe you're going to make some nice spring summer cushions. Well, yeah, you see, producer, but I was thinking the other one for a blind for a bathroom. But actually, I think this is really lovely too. Well, then you could do accessories maybe in this. Or line it, oh, I don't know, look, the, the options are there for you, aren't they? So, yeah, no, producer, uh, producer Paul says, let us know what you're going to make. What do you see? When you look at these fabrics, what does it inspire you to make? Is it going to be a baby quilt? Is it going to be, you know, because it's got all those lovely colours in? Is it going to be something for yourself? Oh, what's it going to be? I really like that. And now, Stepping Stones next is my next one here. Yeah, you see, producer Paul likes this because it's you like these geometrics, don't you? But it's it's um, I think this is what's going to be very interesting is how this looks from afar because you've got those two tone colours in there. So if I hold that up there, it's nice. It looks um, it looks like a trellis in the garden, doesn't it? So then you can have all those beautiful flowers growing up it. But you do have that three D effect because you've got the two different colours going on there. So it's got a lot of interest, this fabric. It's not, oh, that would make nice binding. So 749 or maybe an interesting lining, or it could be the main event. This is the beauty of each of these fabrics. It really doesn't matter. They are standalone gorgeous. And that's 749, IURW07. Beautiful. That's producer Paul's favorite one. Now, the last Erin McMorris that we have for you is this one. It's like a large ditzy, isn't it? That's how I like to think of this one. If I could only open it up. Bear with me. Bear with. Here we go. Woo! -hoo. Yeah. It's kind of a corally pink, isn't it, in this one? 
It's not, it's not a baby pink. It's definitely more of a corally pink. I like it. And then you've got that shadow. So again, you've got depth in this fabric, like you had with the last one, the stepping stones. You've got depth because you've put a shadow behind them, which is really lovely, which is not necessarily obvious, first of all, when you first look at it. You're just aware of there being colours. But yeah, no, you've got depth, which you don't always get with a ditzy. So this is lovely. So at 7.49, you can mix and match all of these. The colourways are all there so that you can do so. Absolutely. That's the joy of buying into a collection. Very much. You see, okay, so I have a question for you at home. Um, I've spent the weekend trying to sort out my fabric stash and I, I, I bought an old dresser and I painted it and uh, I realised that actually I need to see my fabrics. I need to see my colours else. They just get put away in a box and forgotten about. So I've got them all out now so I can see them all. But how do you organise them? Do you organise them by colour or do you organise them by designer? So where I've got some that I know are all of the same design, so I know the colours are going to go absolutely I've kind of collated those together. Is that how you organise yours? Or would you go, right, I'm going to put all my sort of aquas and turquoises together, put those all together. How do you do it? How do you do it? It's, it's really, oh, beautiful. Now, I've also got Dashwood fabric. I promise you two collections, didn't I? Not just two new fabrics, but two whole new collections. So that is your Erin McMorris. She can just swing down to the side there for a moment. Now, with Dashwood... I've got various different bundles for you. So I've got a whopper. I've got a seven-piece um, seven fabric bundle here, which is three and a half meters. So that's the whole collection. That's all seven different pieces of fabric there. Do you want to see them all together? Yeah. So this, oh, this is beautiful. This is from the flock collection. So you can imagine there's a lot of birds going on. Uh, now, oh, now, hang on. I've got to fold this one out, producer Paul, because... Look at this. You might want to get... Hey! That is stunning. Now, what I need to make you aware of is that this pattern goes from selvage to selvage. Okay, normally a pattern would go across that way, but this one... Because normally I would hold the fabric out selvage to selvage, wouldn't I? That's how I would normally hold the pattern of the fabric out. But on this one, it's almost like a panel, isn't it? Because it look at look at that. That is just gorgeous. Just I mean, actually, imagine if that is the backing for your. That's why I said produce Paul. It's just like a panel. Yeah. Um, imagine if that is the backing of your quilt. Actually, do you know what? Wouldn't that make beautiful? Um, bed linen. Gorgeous. So if you are getting a half meter, so this is a meter here, if you are getting a half meter, so that would be down there, it's kind of a half meter pattern repeat. I'd get a meter. Can we do this by the half meter now, producer Paul? Yeah, because I think this is so spectacular, you might want to just like pop a little bit more in. Just saying. That is stunning. I've never seen a fabric like that. Not that it wasn't kind of a panel. I do love that. Imagine that as the backing for your quilt. <gasps> what an absolute joy that would be. Turn it over and boom. That's just stunning. And then all your offcuts. Imagine if your English paper piece and the fun you can have with all the different sections. That is gorgeous. So let's have a look. What have we got going on in here? Well, obviously birds. The birds, the birds. I'm going to hold up the bottom half of it for you to see because that's where... And I love... You see, you've got your two birds down the bottom. And even they're not plain birds. Each of the birds have a pattern within them. Do you know what, producer Paul? I think this is my new favourite dashwood fabric ever. It's lovely, isn't it? How beautiful is that? Oh, gorgeous. I mean, you could just, uh, you could applique these birds. Look at this. Oh, yeah, stunning. This is brand new. If you are adding this to your basket, please check out your basket. This is not guaranteed until you check out your basket. Now, I mean, we've straight away gone straight into this by the half meter. Now, you will have this a half meter. If you're getting the mega bundle, then you'll have a half meter of this. 
But we wanted, and that will look like, and I'm just going to fold this in half so you get an idea as to what this will look like in your bundle. But to be honest, we went, we realized how gorgeous this is. You might want to just get, so if you're getting a half meter, that's what it's going to look like as your half a meter. Tell you what, producer Paul, we should have, we should have hung this one up, shouldn't we? Oh, producer Paul's not feeling very well today. There you go. Yay, now then, next one. Uh, so if we carry on looking through this, this mega, mega bundle. This, do you want to look at this one? Next. Let's stick with the birds. And this orange is throughout that. But look, oh, look at this. And again, imagine appliqueing these all over the place. Fussy cut them out, applique them on. This is lovely. And all, well, this is another fabric that's going salvage to salvage in, in a sort of different direction. But there you go, you've got lovely blues in there. And again, each of these birds have got a beautiful floral design on. So you can see, look at this. You can pick out, you've got in this one, which if you get in the mega bundle, you're getting it all. But you see, look, you've got that, that mustardy color is in there with all those beautiful blues. So that's in there. This was a, a tricky mustard to find a matching color with. You know, normally we can, we can find in our, in our array of, of solids, we can normally find one that's gonna go with this spot on. But what I would say is that this, this I'd match this with the blues or the whites. We will go through, oh, we've got, got to go through these quickly. I've got overexcited with them. Let's have a look at the yellow one next. Um, and again, you know, these, these all complement beautifully. So if I just hold that out there, here you've got that lovely um, zesty lime. It's probably chartreuse, but I still don't know if I said that right. It's nice, isn't it? Simple, classic, navy, white, just three colors. There may be peonies, roses, what you... <laughs> Producer says they look like they've already been fussy cut. They do, don't they? There is that feel. And of course, these, these flowers are echoed then in that large print over there. Just beautiful. When you buy into a collection, I say this time and time again, when you're buying into a collection, you're buying into the repeat of not just the colors, but different design aspects that you'll find throughout it. So it's, it can be subtle, but it's there. Um, now, here we go. Here are some trees. And again, pulling through these same colors, so those birds, those mustard birds that we had, look, you see it's pulled through those colors there. And then, hey, if you've, got, if you've got birds, you need some trees, don't you, quite frankly? There we go. So this is the one for the trees, the details there. Let me move the birds out of the way so I don't confuse you. These are your trees. And again, buy the half meter 649 for your Dashwood Studio Flock Trees fabric. That's nice, very nice. And it actually has got a different feel. It almost looks like it's been like finger painted. Or am I just, have I just spent too much time trying to entertain a poorly four-year-old? There, you know, there's that option too. Uh, right, so that, that, and that. Do you want to do those as a bundle, producer Paul? So if you wanted just those colorways, I've got lots of ways for you to get this fabric. We, want, we so want you to love this fabric and get it home. We think it's absolutely stunning. So what we've done is we've given you various different options. You can buy each of these by the half meter. But if you're going, actually, you see, I know that Jennifer Taylor loves these colors. These are all her kind of colors. So it might be that actually this would be a bundle that she would go for. She's just heard her name, she's just come in. Your colors, right, Jen? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, so it might be that, and I know that producer Hannah, when she's in, she's not in today, it's Paul, but when she's in, these are her colours. I, I can just hear her go, yes, 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 that's going to go in my house. Yeah. So if you want those three, again, half a metre of each of those, pop that in your basket now. Okay, now then, um, I've got more beautiful colours. You see, they're very much Jen's colourways. These are very much my colourways. Now, you know we had that gorgeous one that looked like a panel? Just going to open that up again. Um, 
then let me show you the different pinks and colours that are going to go with all of these because we've bundled these as well. You can get all of these in one great big bundle or we've got two different bundles for you. So straight away, look, you can see how these colours go. That is stunning. This is it by the pink. The pink by itself per half a metre. Here it is. There we go. And it's, you've, you know, you've, again, you've got those colours coming through. Are they twigs? Are they, uh, are they um, feathers? I don't know. But the detailing is in there. Oh, it's called uh, small leaves. But, you know, flocks. have got the birds. So, again, maybe you want to line. Imagine having, imagine having a great big, uh, that as the main part of your bag, and then lining it with that. Be gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So many ways to play with these. Just beautiful. And of course, standalone, they look gorgeous too. Now, uh, these are all brand new today. You have not seen these. Well, you might have seen them elsewhere, but uh, they are brand new today. Now, here we go. Let me show you. This is like a minty one. This is nice. I love these. are all my colours. Love these. So this is your leaves again. So again, picking out, you can mix and match these through always. And you've got those pinks, there's blues, the mustards, it's all in there, all in there. And then the last brand new Premier fabric is here. Now this is like details of the big, well, I'm gonna call it a panel. It's not a panel, but it's a panel. Um, look at this. Look at these, and this brings all the colours together. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Dashwood have outdone themselves this time. Love this. Absolutely love this. Beautiful. Look at that. Just lovely. So this takes elements from that, that panel type piece. And actually, I'm going to hold this up so that you can see this as a pattern because so many of the others have gone like, yes, make lovely uh, bathroom blinds and what have you. But look at that from afar. That's a lovely pattern repeat there. Very beautiful. Now, I've got various ways for you to get all of these. So we've already looked at the mustards and the greens. If you want to get those, then you can get that bundle. If you want to get all of them, the whole range, then you can. But then, if you would also like to get this, oh, what, what, what's my update, producer Paul? What, what, what? The panel, yeah. Oh, it is a panel. Oh, that's why we keep, we keep calling it. So you're getting a 60 centimetre panel. I told you the pattern repeat was about a half metre. So uh, we've, yeah, no, we have actually underpriced ourselves by quite a lot there. So that will be a panel. You will get, rather than a half a metre, you will get a 60 centimetre just to ensure you get the full pattern repeat on there. Because, you know, there's no point in having this and having like half a wing. That would be no fun, would it? So you'll get the full, it will be, this is a metre's worth here. So when you get the panel, how it will look for you, if you buy this as just the panel, a 60 centimetre on its own, then the bird will be centralised. Like that. So anybody that bought more than one unit, so if you bought two units, then you'd get 120 centimetres. Just to make that really clear. So lots of you, I mean, some of you bought four units. Well, that's wonderful. You're getting four birds. You're getting four panels. You're going to get there, hang on, uh, 240 centimetres. So that's nearly an extra half a metre. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to apologise because we gave you the wrong information at the start, but only because, uh, but kind of not apologise because actually it's worked out in your favour because we've underpriced it and, uh, and it's going to be fabulous for you. So sorry, sorry, not sorry, it works out in your favour. There you go. Does that make sense? I hope so. Beautiful. Beautiful. If we ever get this back because it's selling out, oh, apparently it won't be at 6.49. <laughs> 
slightly incorrect price there. So make the most of this. Uh, just, well, it is, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. We've made a mistake this morning. Hands up to that. We, you know, we admit it, but it is a mistake in your favour. So 25 of you just pop that in your basket and go, yeah, I'll take, I'll take that. Thank you very much. I'll make the most of that mistake. Well, do. Absolutely do, because if this is one that we've reordered because you've loved it so much, we will not be able to, we will have to correct our mistake. Happy days. Oh, I, lo I love a good mistake in my favour. Can I show you these? With So, producer Paul, if I'm buying the bundle, I'll get a half a metre... We're just going to double check this, but I'm hoping this will be the way that it works out. If you're buying the bundle that has this in, any of the bundles that has this in, you will get this as a 60 centimetre panel and a half a metre of these. Okay? So again, that's still working in your favour. There you go. So if you're buying the mega bundle with all of these fabrics, but then, so we had the mega bundle with all of them, but we've also got this bundle that's just come up on your screen now. We haven't shown you this bundle yet. This is your other bundle option. So if you want a 60 centimeter panel and the bird will be centralized, um, and you want to get this gorgeous fabric, which brings you in, you know, those elements, it's the same color. Lovely, isn't it? And then you'd also get your pink and your sort of teal, all of these, all of those gorgeous, 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 $25.99. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Producer Paul says it's the first thing we said, wasn't it, Tash? It looks like a panel. We're like, well, yeah, it is. It's a good reason for that. <laughs> Producer Paul says we're rarely wrong. We're really wrong. <gasps> wow. Oh, do you know what, Producer Paul? That ch that's a game changer for me because that means that actually I want the bundle with all of it. I want the mega bundle so that actually... Yeah, no, let's run the mega bundle because these are brand new today. We've made a mistake. Hands up to that, you know. You love it when we get it right. Sometimes, you, you know, you love it when we get it wrong because actually this is, this is to benefit you. So, if we do, producer Paul says, can, Tash, can you please just reinforce this? If we ever bring this back, and there's a big chance that we will because it's going to sell out today. If we ever bring this panel back, it will not be at 6.49 because that's our mistake. We have to honour it today because we've said. But if it ever comes back, it will go under a different code and it will go out at the correct price, which won't be 6.49. So... Um, the mega bundle, all of it, and again, that is priced, that 60 centimetre panel is priced in there incorrectly, so make the most of that. If you want the whole lot, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six of the other fabrics and the panel, all of those colours tying in exquisitely. I love this collection. Really, be that panel has just done it for me. I love it. Absolutely love it. Beautiful. Now, when you buy a designer fabric, when this happens and you get all of this and it's all looking particularly gorgeous, sometimes you need it to go a little bit further. Whether that is just that you want to back it in another color, maybe you just, maybe you're, I don't know, whether you're bag making with it or whatever it is that you're doing with it, sometimes you just need some planes to make something go pop or to just work it through. So what we've got here are these colors, and uh, you can see there, that's the combination. So you've got a gray and aqua. Let me see, so I've got an aqua, I've got biscuit, I've got charcoal, and I've got ochre. So you will get a half a meter of each of those. And you can see that, that biscuit colour there, I just want to place that because I want you to see just how well that matches with the trees. Yeah, you see, that's what we do. And then your ochre. It's all in all of these. Um, 
Church Simpson, where are you going with that oak, Natasha? I'm going down here, actually, because I want you to see that next to the wing of the bird. See, it's all pulled through there. So you can, you can use this as a lining. But, yeah, you see, look at this navy next to that oak. I think that's really quite special. But maybe you want to mix through a grey, because greys work with well, everything, really, don't they? Because, look... Let me show you, that's the grey. Let me show you how fabulous that looks with your aquas and your pinks. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, we've got to that situation critical where if you have that panel in your basket, I can't guarantee it. More of you have it in your basket than we have stock. Um, if you would like that bundle that you're seeing on your screen now, that is $12.99. That is a two meter bundle, half a meter of each of those fabrics. And I think as we've just seen, those colors work well. They work an absolute treat. Now, um, the other bundle that we have for you, because we like to give you choice. It's all about choice, all about options here. We'll go with both this bundle and also with your Erin McMorris. So here they are by themselves. Now, we have got azure, dark blue, magenta, and maize. Dark blue? That's not right. That's not the right, that's not the right details. Paul, have you got something different on that? Because that's not dark blue. These colours are what you're going to get, despite what they're called. Yeah, okay, so maize, which is that one, fern, which is that one, magenta, and what's this one? Is that azure? Okay. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. I was looking at them going, hang on. My screen was wrong. Uh, but let me show you what's very right is those gorgeous colours popping with these fabrics. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. So maybe you've just gone for the... Oh, now here's the thing, you see. Maybe you've gone for this bundle. Then that's going to go an absolute treat. Isn't it? Or maybe you've just gone for the panel and these colours. Okay, so the panel is pretty much sold out. So well done if you managed to get that. You've, uh, you've got yourself a little bargain. Don't be too smug about that. Oh, you can be. I'll let you. Uh, so you've got these options. Right. Let's have a recap of our Erin McMorris. Now, Erin McMorris, an American designer of very good repute. If you would like the entire Erin McMorris bundle, brand new today, that's the fabric right behind me there. That is how it will come to you. And there they are. Here it is, beautifully behind me. But here's the thing, they are such gentle, lovely colours that maybe you want to put some solids through with them. And you know what? This bundle here will go with these. So let's pull these here. Now, OK, so oh, well, we go, we're going with favourites. Which one's the most favourite there? That I'm going to say, is that one? I'm just guessing. But this is it. I'm so pleased that you love this. It's brand new today. And I think this is such a versatile fabric. Whether this is going to be the main thing. I mean, look at that. I'm thinking summer dresses. Either for yourself, for your little ones. It's really beautiful. Not you, Director Tim. But here's the thing. Look at this. So look at those colours on there. You can really have a beautiful play with these. Lovely. Just going to bring it to life. So if you've, if you've gone with that bundle, then maybe pop in a little bit of Erin McMorris. Treat yourself. You deserve it. You work hard. It's all good. Now, next most popular is the Stepping Stones. Here we go. These are your Stepping Stones. This is Producer Paul's favourite. So... And you can see, 
you can see how the colors work. I love within this range, you've got those big, big, bold prints there. And then you've got lovely geometrics as well to play with. Look at that. So you've got that two tone. This is the simplicity of it. It's just three colors. That's it. OK, the panel has now sold out. Congratulations if you got that. Um, We'll show you that in just a moment to let you know that it's gone. But you can still get it in a bundle, am I right? Yes. OK. To be honest, I'd be buying it in a bundle. Now then, now then, I really love this one too. Well, I've got two favourites today, producer Paul. You keep saying, is that your favourite then? Tell you what, I've got two. Can't help it, I've got two. But this is definitely, if I was quilting with these colours then I would definitely, definitely be buying myself some aquas, some whites. Oh, wouldn't white look beautiful with these as well? So, so the optical white that we have on the website, things like that, definitely, definitely be working these through because that would just be gorgeous. And then that's our last one. So only four here out of this collection. But that is how they play together. So this is, this is coming up on your screen in just a moment. Actually, do you know what? If you're making, I know I've seen a lot of you on um, social media, on our fan page, are making for grandchildren for Easter. You're very organized. You're getting ahead. These are the beautiful kind of Eastery springtime colors. Beautiful. And then do you want to see them all together? Yeah. If you would like a half a meter of each of these, We've put them all together for you, so you don't have to faff about putting in different item codes and all that. Uh, you can just get the whole lot. Kaboom. Just like this. Yeah. Look at that. Gorgeous. 29.49. Now, this is brand new today. The bundle is limited. And of course, remember, you can, if you've got a favorite, you can buy that by the half meter as well. Excellent. Now, now, if you miss the information about the panel, um, we've, we've had a little, a little whoopsie-daisy here today. This is the panel separate. Now, when we open this out, let me tell you the story for anyone that's just joined us. And gone, what is she going on about? We're, the first thing that producer Paul and I went, it's like, oh, it's more like a panel than, than just a fabric. Well, that's because that then sent the office going, well, hang on a minute, maybe it is. At least 16 of you have missed out. I'm ever so sorry. You just need to be quicker. You just need to check out. There are a couple of these available if you check out your baskets now. And I do mean literally just a couple. So if you have this in your basket, there are at least 16 of you with this in your basket. The panel will be a 60 centimeter panel. The bird will be centralized. That will be your panel. This is our mistake somehow, and I don't know how, this has come as fabric to be sold by the half meter. Uh, it will not come to you as a half meter. It will come to you as a 60 centimeter panel. That means we've made a price boo-boo, okay? Uh, uh, but that's in your favor. So there you go. You're getting more. Hurrah. If you still want this and, you've just, and you're one of those 16 plus people that just missed out on buying the panel by itself, then here you go. You can get the whole collection, which means that you could quilt. I mean, some of the panel quilts that we get are just exquisite. So if you just want to be able to have all those fabrics with the panel, that will come with a panel and then a half a meter of each of those other fabrics there, get that one now, 4548. QIGC77. Oh, that sounded very, very stern. Just get it now. Don't mess around. Just get it now. But don't miss out. You see, I hate it that some of you have already, already, already missed out. Um, oh, Laurie in Suffolk says, oh, Natasha, that Dashwood flock of birds is amazingly beautiful. I got mine. Laurie, you are smart, let me tell you. Very smart, because you, you press check out before you message and make sure you got it. Good work. Kathleen, um, in somewhere I really can't pronounce, says, um, you see a quilt back, Tash? I see a skirt. Love it. Everybody sees something different, don't they? Gorgeous. Yes, skirt. Very cloth kits esque. Lovely. Uh, Bridget in Northamptonshire says, got a meter of the bird fabric. Love navy, and the birds are gorgeous. Uh, Bridget, you haven't just bought a meter, you bought a meter 20 because that was. Um, oh, did you mean this one or did you mean the birds? 
Oh, it might have been. If it was this one, then that would be by the half metre. Should we have a look at this one? Because, Bridget, I don't know which birds... The, the birds, the birds, they're all over the place. I love this bird's fabric. It's really nice. It's, um... Look at these. These are birds galore in here. Do you know what this reminds me of? My mum, I grew up with my mum um, collecting blue and white china. And that's what this reminds me of. In the birds, you've got that beautiful blue and white. And then you've got that hit of mustard around there. Aren't they pretty? I love this. Who's the designer on this? Bethan Janine. That's what I really like about Dashwood. Dashwood will always credit the designer down the salvage. So you'll always know who the designer is. They've got lots of different designers, but they'll always credit it. Now, this is brand new today. You can get this by the half meter. Bridget, was this one you got a meter of? Nice work. Very nice. I think this is lovely. Don't miss out on this either. This is brand new today. Well done. Now, if you're buying any of the bundles that have the panel in, that's the only way to get that panel now. Oh, lovely. All right, let's have a look at the other navy because... Ba -ba -ba -ba. I do like those birds. Right, now... Okay, next up is the other navy. And it might be... Well, and you see, now we've established that the other one is a panel, it might be that this is going to be your backing fabric. Imagine having this as your backing fabric. Or you might just go for a plane. But this is rather lovely. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? And actually, you can see how that pattern does repeat. You can see you've got all of that array of colours. You've got 12 different colours in this, just in this one fabric, 12 different colours. Really lovely, really beautiful. Well, Beth and Janine, designer, you have excelled yourself in this. Hey, you know how we're saying that? Because I always call this the bathroom blind test. Is what does it look like from afar? Do I want it as, up as a blind? Is that pattern going to work for me as a, as a pattern repeat from afar? And then I get in and have a little bit more detail. It's only because I'm trying to do up my house at the moment. And so everything, I see bathroom blinds everywhere. But that's it's kind of the bathroom blind test. What does it look like from afar? Do I still love it from afar? Or is it something that I'm going to want in just smaller amounts? But the colours are great. The colours are really lovely and give you so many scopes. Because you've got 12 different colours in just this fabric, it gives you so much scope to work with. So, yeah, that's a very good idea, Patrice Paul. So just show us the salvage. Down the side, and I know a lot of you know this because I know a lot of you keep your salvage pieces so that you always have this as a reference. Um, look, down along here, it does show you all the different colours that you've got in there. So you've got quite an array in there, haven't you? even down to the different shades. Look how close those different shades are. And yet there it is. So, and also, you know, keep this salvage because if you're trying to match, like now that I have all my planes up on my, um, up on my dresser, I can just take that salvage and just try and match it up with all my planes. Nice, very nice. Oh, we've had an email. Uh, and it's from Jill in Suffolk. Hello, Jill. She says, morning, Tash. Happy days. I grabbed four units of the panel and we'll be making a skirt or top. See, this is the second person that says they've seen a skirt, isn't it? Um, and using the offcuts for English paper piecing. Thanks for making a boo-boo on pricing. Jill, that's absolutely my pleasure. I don't price stuff. Uh, that's, that's not my department, but I'm happy that we have boo-booed in your favour. Uh, what's next? Sorry, producer Paul. The pink, oh yeah, the pink. Now, hey, you know we had that bundle, that colour bundle. Look how beautifully that pink goes with these. But let me show you the pink by itself first. Pink and navy, classic, can't go wrong. Oh, 
Oh, oh, is, oh, oh, okay. So no, Bridget messaged back. She said, oh, oh, oh I ordered the. Uh, I, she said she ordered the panel one. Does that mean that she'll get you'll get two panels together? So you'll get the two 60 centimeter panels in 120 centimeter. You get you're getting basically an extra 20 centimeters worth of fabric. Nice. Happy days. Happy days. Uh, now. If you are, producer Paul, can I just show very quickly this with, with this bundle here? Because I just think it's really exquisite. This bundle's nearly sold out. Okay, if you um, were after a fabric uh, bundle to, to make these go further, then I just wanted to show you how beautifully that pink is matched. That's your magenta, that's your maize, and that matches in absolutely beautifully. You've got that blue there, that azure blue, and then that green. Okay, seven of you have this in the bundle and we only have four of these left. Okay, we're at that situation where we say, please check out quickly. It's not, uh, um, it's not pushy sales, it's nothing like that. It's just, I don't want you missing out. If you've got your heart set on it, don't miss out. Check out that basket now. No. Uh, oh, I've got to put, get rid of that. Bye-bye bundle. Yellow. This one. Do you think that's yellow? Oh, I think that's sort of an ochery, greeny, chartreusey colour. But basically, you've got three colours in here. Sometimes simplicity is just... Helps if I get it around the right way. Is really exquisite. Look at that. White. Navy. And then that ochre, brand new from Dashwood, brand new today. You're absolutely loving it, which is just thrilling. I'm so pleased. As a standalone fabric, I think that's beautiful. There's a simplicity and an elegance to it with that movement as well. You know, when, we, um, when I was growing up and, you know, in art, and they, were always, they always said, if ever you want movement, put something on a diagonal. So, and that's, that's what you've got here. You've got that beautiful movement coming up through here because they're not just on straight. You've got, you've got that lovely flow going through here. So this is a fabric that has that move, that movement going through it, which is really lovely. Whereas if I show you that and then put this one here next to it. Now, again, you've got the colors running through so you can put those all together. But can you see, rather than have that lovely flow that we've got through here, these are very much straight, so this is more geometric, it's more ordered. Whereas this has got that lovely organic flow because you've got that movement from it being just not straight on. But this one, nice and geometric. It almost, uh, yeah. They kind of remind me of the bottom of shuttlecocks. Everybody sees different things, isn't it? Everybody sees different things. Now, we've got two Dashwood bundles. This is the first one. So if you, if they are your colorways, so if you're like Jennifer Taylor and you, or, or producer, uh, producer Hannah, and you see those and you go, yeah, they are absolutely my colors, then grab that bundle and you'll get that for 19.49. So half a meter of each of those fabrics in there and you are good to go, beautiful. Now, the next bundle that I'm going to show you includes the panel. All right, so let me show you this next one. So you have got the panel, which is the one on the right-hand side of your screen. That will come to you as a 60-centimeter panel, as Dashwood intended. Um, and then the other three will all be cut as our normal half-meter increments, okay? The panel was our mistake. We said it was, you know, just 50, it's not, it's a 60 centimeter panel. There is a stock warning on this. If you have that in your basket, please check out. How dire is that, producer Paul? Four left. Okay, that's, you know, yeah. 25.99 QLGC88. That, in, that gives you the panel and three other half meters of fabric. Happy days, beautiful, go for it. Now, if you are after the whole shebang and I'm of, the, of Dashwood, I've got to show you this panel. Now, when you get this, okay, this will be your panel 
This will be cut. This is a meter, but this will be cut as a set, sixty centimeter panel with the bird centralized. If everybody checks out, then we only have four of these big kits left, and the kit gives you half a meter and the panel of each of those fabrics. Absolutely stunning. So that's a quilt. I mean, that's a quilt just ready to be made, isn't it? And you've got it there. So the, like I say, when you get this panel cut, and again, this is our mistake, when you get this panel cut, we'll make sure that that beautiful bird is the central point. If, you've, if you're like Bridget and you've, brought, and you've bought two, then you'll get an extra 10 centimeters either side. You get an extra 20 centimeters in total because it's a 60 centimeter panel. If that makes any sense to you. So you will get it, Bridget, like this, but the full amount. There you go. 45, 48, clear as mud, I hear you say. There it is, absolutely stunning. Now, uh, let's have a look because sometimes our uh, crafty mojo gets, uh, gets a little bit stuck. Now, um, I've got a couple of books here by Alex Anderson. Now, Alex Anderson boasts that she's... Um, that she has taught over a million people to quilt. She's got her own channel and she writes books and she does all sorts of things. But, and I've got a, a really comprehensive book, All Things Quilting, to show you of hers. But sometimes a massive great big book can just feel a little bit daunting and sometimes you just need a quick reference guide. And that's what this is. So for 10.99, you've got 12 easy layout options in four different sizes and it's, uh, this is to be kept by your machine. As soon as you've got it bound like that, spiral bound, I know it's to be kept by my machine. So it even shows you, and I've not seen this in another book, how to cut if you're right-handed or left-handed. So everybody's covered in here. And I've just marked off a few little things just of interest, okay? So it's going to lie flat. You're not going to have to get all your fabric weights out. That's annoying, isn't it, when you have to do that to open up a book? and keep the page turned. It just lies flat so you can have it there as a quick and easy reference. So you've got all sorts of things. Talked about the grain line. We talked about the grain line, didn't we, with Jennifer earlier, but this is, this is just giving you all that information. Um, uh, so all different tools and things like that to bear in mind. Different layouts using block. We say, look at your fabric, look at the different colors, look at the different ways that one set of fabrics can be laid out completely differently. Um, different tools. Now here, we talk about walking feet and things like that. What does it actually mean? Why would we need one? It's got it all there. And then down here, it also shows you where to stitch, how to pull that thread through underneath. You know, we say often, pull it through and, and tie it off, secure your threads. Well, sometimes it's really difficult to get it in a camera angle. Here it is all laid out in picture form. So it's just got some of the things that you absolutely need to know, and then you've got all your different layouts there. So that is just 10.99. So if you've bought that big bundle today, you could be making one of these quilts. It's fabulous. So uh, let's have a look then at her big book. And this has got everything that you need. That one's great for quick reference, keep by your machine, but maybe you want, you go like, no, actually, I need all the information. So this is all things quilting. Very, very comprehensive. So in here, this is one of my favorite pages, and I always show you this because there are magic numbers in quilting. Uh, when I was teaching maths, I wish that I had been a quilter then because I could have, I, I could have really, really explained fractions and stuff with kids then. But here we go. This is uh, your magic numbers. So if you are um, cutting something, say, on a diagonal and you want to finish certain finish size, you would add seven-eighths of an inch. That's your magic number. So these give you all those different numbers that you will use, that you will hear. And once you know those rules... What it allows you to do is like, right, okay, I like making up my own patterns. Hands up, you know, I'm not great at following other people's patterns. I like to make my own. But once you know those rules, those number rules, those magic numbers, then you can then start to have a play and you can put your own patterns together. So you might have, say you've just bought that panel and you might go, right, I've got that panel, but now I want to do... Um, you know, something lovely like this to go around using two of my contrast fabrics and I want to know how to do that. It's going to show you. And then you can, um, it, 
it shows you how to put together your own different ideas, how to put together different blocks. It's absolutely jam-packed full of different ideas, different techniques, different ways in which to make things. Lots, lots of these different blocks. I mean, you could make a sampler quilt just out of this book. Um, and then other things that I really love, you, it touches on applique, all those kinds of things. You've got lots of different ideas for quilts. It gives you all the different measurements for the different size quilts that you want. But then also, um, it talks you through different thimbles. And I never realized there were quite so many thimbles or when I, or when I would need them. But here you go. If you are doing any hand quilting or any, any hand stitching, it talks you through how to use a thimble. I don't really use them because I'm a bit awkward with them. But here it's going to show you how to use them properly. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you, all of her finishing off techniques. So once you have this beautiful um, patchwork front, how am I now going to quilt that and finish it off? And there's an entire section on how to finish these things off, how to do your bindings, how to do all of those, whether are you just going straight or are you going for scalloped, zigzags, it's all covered in here. It is so comprehensive for just 20 pounds, basically, or bar a penny. And also it shows you little tips like um, rolling up rolling up your um, your quilts and storing them round a, round a pool noodle. Little, little things like that. Oh, I like that. Now, we started the show with Erin McMorris. Brand new today. It's been behind me all morning. Brand new today. Fresh, pretty. If you want all of that together in half meter increments, 29.49. Brand new today. This is the Echo range. Absolutely exquisite. Check out those baskets. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, three of you have that in your basket. Um, and you are guaranteed that if you check out now. But if many more add it in, I can't guarantee. So please do check out your baskets. Now remember, we do one PMP per day. So if you are checking out your basket, you're not incurring a PMP charge every time. We wouldn't do that. It's just one PMP per day. Our PMP gets added at midnight and that's 2.95 per day. Check out as many times. We've seen things just absolutely fly off this desk this morning. No pun intended. Um, but if this is one that has flown out, which is the Dashwood, and this is the Phlox range, brand new today. We wanted to bring you the whole collection in one bundle. Now, bear in mind, we made a mistake. Apologies. Sorry, not sorry. It's worked in your favor. Um, the one on the bottom hand, right hand corner, that is actually a panel. We priced it as just a normal half meter of fabric. You will get the full panel. You will get the full center, uh, 60 centimeter panel. When that comes back, if that comes back again, it will be higher price, it will be correctly priced. It's not today, so you are the winner there. Um, 45, 48 there, but then you get a half meter of each of those other fabrics. Six of you at the moment need to check out this or it's gone. Okay, you need to check out your basket. Please, please, please don't miss out of this. Now, after the break, Jennifer Taylor's back with a backpack. She's back with a backpack um, in lots of different arrays of color. So you've got something to suit every style. Uh, that's going to be after the break. Please, in the meantime, use the break to check out your baskets. Do not miss out. Any questions, give us a call. Um, if you've got any makes you want to share with us, we just love to hear from you, generally. So Jen and I will be back in just a few minutes. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Join us on Wednesday the 14th of February when Victoria Pete will be here to make a stylish patchwork poof from Simply Sewing magazine. This practical addition to your home decor uses a fun foundation paper piecing method which Victoria demonstrates along with her top tips and professional techniques for perfect results. Once you know how simple it is, you can snap up one of our kits complete with step-by-step -step instructions. We've got fabric options to suit everyone. So tune in and prepare to transform your home on Wednesday the 14th of February at 10 a.m. only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Sewing Quarter is the UK's first TV channel dedicated to sewing and quilting. On air and behind the scenes, our team of top industry experts work hard to bring you tons of exciting projects. Whether you're into dressmaking, 
bag making, piecing, patchworking or quilting, you'll learn something new every day from our talented guest designers and fabulous presenters. Our online shop is packed with tools, haberdashery essentials and fabulous fabrics from simple solids to designer gems. And with our 30 day money back guarantee and single daily postage charge, you can shop with confidence. So tune in daily on Freeview 78, Sky Channel 678 and shop online at sewingquarter.com. Join us on Thursday the 15th of February when Lucy Brennan takes us over the rainbow with a glorious Technicolor quilt. Mixing 10 beautiful colours including turquoise, bright red, lime green and on trend violet on a white background this design from Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine is a modern classic. As we've thoughtfully put all the fabrics required into a handy kit, all you have to do is sit back and let Lucy share her tips and tricks for making it. So tune in for an hour of colourful quilting, Thursday the 15th of February at 10am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at .com. visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter, and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. this a lot. I have to say, I don't know about you, but sometimes, you know, if you've got little ones, you need a hand, grab them, and you don't always have a hand for all, you know, they have paraphernalia. If I actually want to take anything, having a backpack's really handy. It's a nice size too. It's not, you're not going to look like one of those Duke of Edinburgh kids that looks like they're about to fall over backwards because they've got so much in the backpack. It's just a handy size. Don't have just one shoulder if needs be. Yeah, I like that. She really like that with the navy. Mm. Right now, this one um, is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, there we go. And there, now you get a meter of fabric in total. There, this is the magenta backpack here. Here we go. Let me show you. So you do get you get the whole pattern. You get your thread, and you get a meter of fabric. Let me show you the two different fabrics there. Now this is kind of a canvasy fabric. And then obviously you've got your beautiful feature fabric here. Oh, it is called cotton canvas, yeah. Uh, Producer Paul, do you remember that beautiful um, fat quarter pack that we had from Jennifer Pagnelli? This is Jennifer Pagnelli's By the Half Meter. Beautiful, kind of like a folky, arty designer. And this is probably one of her most structured prints. Really lovely, stunning, eye-catching. Exquisite colors there. As we've seen, now, uh, Jen saw Kaif facet fabric, um, not, not actually Kaif, but she was like, yeah, well, I mean, probably have. Um, and she went, yes, give me those regimental stripes immediately, if not sooner, because I'm going to demo with those. Okay, Jen, okay. So this is your regimental stripes by Kaif Facet. Love, 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 love it. Yeah. And you get your cotton canvas in red there as well, and your red thread too, and your pattern, everything. I'm, I'm just going to hold this out, actually, because um, the regimental stripes is one you've got to see salvage to salvage, because just, ooh, yes. Love it. And actually, I love the fact that they're not straight straight, because then I can have a bit of wobbly stitching and nobody cares. Between friends. What's a wobbly stitch between friends, eh? What's that all about? Uh, so there we go, you've got that. That's your option there. I don't think it's £199. Even for case facet, that would feel a little excessive. Um, so we're going to correct that for you. Ah. Now, 
just had a buying error in your favor? That wouldn't have been. Uh, right. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, everybody. I think they're at the pancakes already. I think that's what's going on. Uh, right, OK, so you've got uh, pattern and thread. We know this. Beautiful Tim Holtz. Do you know, I just cannot get enough of this designer. Absolutely love his work. And uh, ba -ba, maybe this is a school backpack. So actually having your numbers and your letters on there. Very appropriate. Spent the weekend trying to teach Freddie the difference between a number and a letter. It's a toughie. It is a toughie. Really toughie. Um, and so you get, there you go, uh, half a metre of each of those. The only difference in the price, apart from obviously the price we got wrong, uh, is just down to the designer fabric, how much that designer fabric is. Because you've got a designer with each of these. Oh, hang on, throwing anything on the floor. Slippy little sucker. There we go. Uh, this is a bit of, oh, I love that colour. And, of course, this is Michael Miller, who isn't actually a person. Well, no, they are, but they're two people, not just one person. This is your Michael Miller fabric. Pretty, hey. Like just my kind of colours. Lovely. And then we've put that with a lovely, what colour do we call that canvas? Well, it's, it's, it's too dark to be a teal. Wait, it's mm, peacocky, peacocky, tealy colour. Petrol blue. <laughs> Where's that colour? Okay, that is your canvas colour. And yeah, love that. And this is what we're making. Oh, she's going. I got it, I got it. Hello. Got it. How are you doing? I'm good. You look like you're nice. ready to go. Well, oh, hey, bye. I'm just going to leave you for this now to, you know, do your thing. <laughs> She now, uh, you chose Cave. Chold a bit of Cave. Which, oh, is now. Oh, oh no. that's, that's much that one. better. That's this one. Oh, that's that one. That's this one. We'll get the other sorted. It's fine. <laughs> now, what are we making? Well, how are we making? I know what we're making. How we are going to make the bag, and I am going to attempt to get it done in the hour. It's a nice one. It is Challenge a nice accepted. one. Challenge accepted. I say this. It's not going to happen. No, I will no, try. It okay. Um, very simple one to make. Great gift idea. Just a lovely little, lovely little pattern in there. Um, you have three options. You've mm -hmm. got the one, which is the drawstring, which you've got there, without a flap, which is that one. Then you have one that has a cover, uh -huh. which is like that. That one, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you've got a third option, which is actually even like tinky tiny. So that's almost like little handbag styling, nice. which is just a nice little one. No. But I think this is good for things like when you, you, you know, when you go um, to fairs or festivals where you don't want to take lots of things, but you don't want to be carrying anything. This is good. Can you pass, pass me a pattern, please, Mark? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, because you can get your bottle of water in there. Everything you need in there, but your hands free. Yep. And stylish at the Absol same time. Oh, stylish. Do you know what I was just thinking? If you shorten those straps, you could, you could make it for your little ones, too. Yeah. Or lengthen the straps if you don't want it so high on your back. It's, it, it's, so, it's so simple. You can, again, it's, it's your bag. You can do what you like with it. Because trying to find backpacks for little ones yeah. is really tricky. But when Freddie has a backpack, he loves it. He doesn't want to take it off. Yeah. It's a bit awkward I going can imagine Freddie nicking that one with the, the last one that he showed us that we couldn't figure out what colour blue, green, teal, peacock colour it was. Oh, you're joking. He'd have the pink. Do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, I thought he'd like the... Hmm. I'm liking Freddie's style. It's right. good, isn't it? We're going to make this in an hour, Mrs. Well, I better get on with it, aren't I? Um, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> the big one for me is the front um, pattern piece, which in this case, uh, for this one, which is the, the version A or B, whether you're doing it with or without the flap, yep. uh, this is that pattern piece. Okay. And she's off. She's going. Um, so all the detail as far as markings, this is the, the biggie. This is yeah. the biggie one. Okay. Um, so I've already gone ahead and tailor tacked my pocket placement. You know, I love a pocket, so that's done already. Um, but I'm going to show you another quick technique because there's a, it's this part here that's a bit tricky. You've got a fold line and a stitching line. Yeah. Um, because that gives you your casing later on for your straps. So the oh, straps okay. that go across your shoulders are actually the opening and closing device of the bag. Okay, nice. All right. Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, before taking all my pins out, I'm just going to reposition my pins down away from that line, like so. Yeah. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just fold it on the fold line. That's the one that I'm really interested in. Okay. And I'm going to show you now how to do what's called a running tack. 
So okay. it's it's still a, using your a needle and thread, similar to a tailor's tack, yeah. you, it's about doing it on a line. Can I get my fabric marker? You can, but I thought this was a nice way of doing it. Oh, yeah, okay, just checking. Sorry. Yeah, the quickest method, the total oh. quickest method. Lazy girl method. The lazy girl method. <laughs> we'll get to get just that pen out. Just but you know, no, I thought I'd bring I it on you do things properly. Um, and, you know, thoroughly. You know what? You're totally right, though. That's right. There's me going, okay, do it in an hour. Let's do a running tag. Let me show you how to do that. Right, okay. So the running tag is pretty much as it states, where you're going to do a running <laughs> stitch. So think about your sashiko. So do no more than about three stitches. But where before you move on again, what you want to do is leave a little bag. So if I just come back. We're so making can, a little bag. No, we're just leaving a little bag. You know when we do our little sashiko sessions? Oh, yeah, so it doesn't, it doesn't we go talk, too tight. Yeah, yeah, so we talk about a little... Um, a, we really are yes. giving it quite a lot of stuff. So that's basically what we're going to be doing. So I'm okay. going to do that super quick. So it's a really... It is a quick one to do. Granted, yeah. it's not as quick as your fabric. Um, yeah, but again, you know, um, I'm sure that our lovely viewer who made made a slight boo-boo with her blue fabric pen... Yes, so when you've got a fabric. pen, that doesn't work. This is the, this is the method yeah. for you. So, so there's always, or you just can't find it because your four-year-old has decided that it's going in with his pen. Uh, That's exactly. just happened recently. Exactly. And, uh, and then done, look, I can do lots of dots no. with it and push the nib in. Like, Thanks for that. Give me my back back. So I'm just, I'm finishing off now. So basically you do a couple of stitch in a normal running stitches. Yeah. But then the last, um, before you then put your needle back into the fabric, make sure you're leaving a little loop like that. Okay. All right? Yes. So that's your running tack. I don't, oh. I don't think we've seen a running oh, tag. Oh, you have now. It was worth it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Not when, you, not, not when you're on a time channel. And... <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, so I'm taking my pattern pieces off now because I've transferred yep. everything else. Good, good, good. So now I can move this out of the way. So we have our tailor's tacks there and then obviously our running tacks there. So it's exactly oh, the same process where you're separating your layers. Oh, hello. Okay. What that's going to do is give you a little line of stitches that you can then nice. pick up, you see. So I'm going to go in with my scissors. Yep. That's quite satisfying, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Whoop. See? Oh, nice. Sweet. It's nice one that, isn't it? Yeah. I thought yeah, it was yeah. worth it. I thought it was no, worth quite showing. quite satisfying. No, I'll give you that. All right. Good. Yeah. Okay. So that's that bit done. All right. Pudding. Pudding. So we know where the pockets are and where we need to fold a little bit later. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take one of those pieces and then I'm going to take my pocket piece, which okay. I've prepped ahead of time. You love See? a pocket. You love a good pocket. I do pocket. love a pocket. Yeah. Um, so it's just a very simple patch pocket. So okay. it's a square piece of fabric. You've right. got a pattern piece for that. I've double... Um, hemmed the top, mm -hmm. okay, top stitch that down, and I have gone ahead and just pressed in the side seam, so you notice that there isn't any pressing at the very bottom of the pocket, so that bit's yeah. secured, and then there's your uh, side seams there. Yes. Okay, so this is going to go on there like that. So they are your placement marks. That's the placement marks for your for pocket. For the top of it. For the top okay. of your pocket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There and there. There and there. So if you wanted two pockets, so for instance, you, you, you could have one on against your back, but what you'd put in there, I don't know, but maybe that's a good one for things like your passport where you don't want to oh, be able yeah, to get access to that anyone. very easily. That. So you could put a, back, a pocket on the back of your bag. Or inside. Like that. Yeah. So it's against your body. So they're going into the bag. It's like, you yeah, we didn't realise there's one underneath. Um, but I'm just going to go with the front, uh, one pocket on the front. Now, just to reiterate, the K Facet bundle, this one, is not £199. It's <laughs> 19 99 <laughs> We are sorting oh, that. So just bear with us. If you're after KF, well, not like himself, but this one, then just give us a call and they will sort that. And obviously, you know, it won't be charged £199 because that would be rude. That would be very rude. <laughs> very rude, quite frankly. So we wouldn't do that to you. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Brilliant. So I'm just going to stitch down that pocket now. Oh, it's gone very slow all of a sudden. Let's speed him up. Hang on, but then what happens at the bottom? Don't need to worry about it. What? Why? Uh, all shall be revealed. What, it, what? So you just do the straight lines? Just do the straight side. lines. Just the straight lines. You and your sewing voodoo. What's going on? How? Hold on a minute. I've not gone quite far enough. Up. Oh. That's better. That's my fault. It loves a little... It's got, you've got a little lump on it, haven't you? That's I've got nice. a little lump. That's me speeding Yay. away. Let's try again. In my day. So I'm going to start in a little bit 
away from the edge in this case and then go backwards. Because you've double hemmed that it's over. Quite, yeah, it's a, it's a it, 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 so I would, sometimes I would start a little bit further in and then go backwards. Yeah. And then, and then you've got a bit more wiggle room. That's right. That's my top tip because I do that top a lot. Tip. <laughs> I do that a lot. Brilliant. Okay, so that's our pocket on now. Oh, I've just realised why you don't have to do the bottom bit so along the bottom. Oh, you're so, so cheating. She's looking at the pocket. Why are there you? I can't keep... Well, no, I, I hate you... secrets. I'm rubbish at them. Oh, <laughs> so rubbish at Really, them. really bad. Okay, so that's our pocket attached. That was nice and easy. So you're right, you've got an absolute little bit of a gap in the bottom. But Don't we'll use sort the pocket that yet. Out, <laughs> sort that out later, all right? Okay. Um, so... The next thing you're going to do is your little loop. So obviously we're going to have a nice little pocket detail on here. You've got a loop for your little button there. So we need to pop that on. So it's basically like bias binding, nice. um, but you're not doing it on the bias, so it's on the straight. So just binding. Yeah, so it's just a straight piece of fabric folded into four and then folded in again on itself. And that's exactly the same process that you would do for your straps for the bag. Okay. So if you did want to lengthen your straps, yes. you just add more fabric and do the same process. All right? okay. so if you and do if want you... them smaller, or, like you said, for about Freddie, if you want to shorten them, then you can make it smaller. Because that's, that's just bigger. his sort of size for a backpack. Yeah, you know, there's like, some it? kids you see with backpacks going off to school and they oh, do just... look like they're about to fall over backwards because <laughs> the backpack's bigger than they are. Oh, so are you living in it or going to school with it? Living in it. Living in it. Living in a backpack. Right then, so we're going to make a loop. So I'm going to make sure we've got right angles. So I'm going to place it down, do a right angle. So over and then under, and then that way I know it's not going to twist. Can you just show it that us again, just so, so that we, we, go we get that? Over. Yeah. And then under. Yeah. And then that way you're not going to get a twist. Brilliant. All right, thank you. You're welcome. So that's going to go here. So mm -hmm. I'm going to place these two together first. So you're going to do one stitch, and then what you're going to do is fold it down on itself and enclose those raw edges. So don't worry about the raw edges just yet. This is clever. It's this nice, is isn't very it? clever. I like that. I, I remember that. We've done this before and I really enjoyed it then and I'm enjoying it now. So I'm going to put my needle up, lift my foot up. Um, hands up if you've made this pattern before and absolutely oh, loved it. And if you're kicks. going to make it again out of these or if you're going to recommend it, if you would recommend it to a friend. Oh, that'd be a nice little gift, wouldn't it? Do you not think? No, I think great. Well, made or no, as, in uh, like, as in like the pack together. Yeah, yeah, together. To, go, to give it to, to them as a little, here's something to get you started. My, um, my cousin's little one, he's just turned two, little Thomas, bless him. He's an absolute sweetheart. Um, but for the first year and a half or so of his life, he yeah. was obsessed with a hat, a certain hat. And oh. everywhere he went, he had to wear his hat. Um, since his second birthday, he got a backpack. Oh. So the hat has now been replaced by the backpack, the backpack. and everywhere he goes, the backpack goes too. I like and, uh, that. Yeah, this could be it. That's nice. Or maybe you get those fixations. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere I go, the backpack no, goes too. you do have too. a certain thing that you enjoy, I have a don't favourite bag. Oh, I have a yeah. lot of favourite things, shoes being one of them. Um, I like so I, I know, they're flashy, aren't they? Mm. I like them. Um, so I've stitched it down. Yes. Um, I've then trimmed it back. Yep. And then what we're then going to do is flip that over and then do another line of stitching across there Smart. just to give you a really nice clean finish. So those edges are, those raw edges are all encapsulated. You don't have to worry about doing anything fancy no. schmancy. Do I need a, a strong needle or anything to go? Because we've got quite a few layers of fabric no, there. No, no, it, it, it's, um, uh, you're not going through, well, I'm not going through the canvas. Um, oh, okay. But if you um, are struggling, just extend your stitch length a little bit, that's oh, okay. all. Top I tip. always find that helps. No. Oh, look, price is fixed. Not Yay. like fixed as in a price fix. I mean, as in like the price right. has been fixed. Yes. Oh, no, it hasn't. <laughs> it's fixed. We've got gremlins on today. the actual web. But <laughs> clearly, yeah, it's not £199. That's a very expensive. It's definitely bag. on the website. It's uh, on the bottom. There you go. It's going to cut. Oh, there we go. Just keep it down there. There we go. But there it is. It's £19.99. That's better, That's isn't hilarious. it? That's hilarious. So and there's the bundle for $19.99. <laughs> if you are in any way confused, just firstly, I, I know how you feel. Uh, <laughs> secondly, give our customer services a call 0800 112 4436. It's like a constant state I of love confusion it. for me. Oh, I love it. Uh, right, this is the clever bit. This is the clever bit. So at the moment, we've got a hole in our pocket, which we really don't want. Delilah, um, Delilah. Delilah, oh, Delilah. a hole in the bucket, wasn't it? 
<laughs> it's a whole different song. Um, so we're going to add a little trim onto the bottom, which is lovely. So it's a, just basically, a, again, you've got a pattern piece for this in your um, in your kit. Um, and I've already gone ahead and pressed under one of the seam allowances. So it's the top one. And then I know there's some notches on the side of my bags. So if I just bring that over a little bit, there. So there's one here. And then there's one there. Oh, yeah, because so, you've transferred them all. That's mm -hmm. right. So then I know where that needs to go. And once I've got that, then we can top stitch that down. Nice. And then that will then enclose our pocket. So we have got a pocket, a functional pocket now, not a pretend nice. one. So I'm just going to top stitch not that down. Not a faux pocket. Not a faux pocket. I hate that. I hate that in jackets. I know it ruins the line, but I hate it when you go to put your hands in a jacket I've, pocket. I realise my jeans have got them. Oh, I love no. a pocket. You know I love a pocket. You do and love I was a like, pocket. no, I can't. Although, that's just the smallest one you ever. Can, you can make one. You can make one. Smallest Jennifer one ever. Jennifer Gloucestershire says, I made this with your yellow kit and was pleased with Ooh. the finished result. However, found the straps hard to put through. Do you have a bodkin? We're going to use a bodkin on this bodkin one. Bodkin will make it really, really easy, Jennifer. And then I think this is one of those things as well. Once you've got the pattern, you're going to make it in lots of different, for family, friends and things like that, you know, you, you'll be able to make it and do it in different colours, different pattern ways. Like the Tim Holtz, lovely if you're, um, if, you know, for a slightly more masculine feel. Yeah. Because sometimes my husband feels really embarrassed when I go, can you just hold this? And I hand they him like, the, the girliest bag and he's just like... <laughs> Why are you doing that? But you see, if it was a Tim Holtz one, he'd be like, yeah, I'll hold that. Well, in fact, he'd be like, can I, ca can I carry that, please? Well, we'll get that far. <laughs> right then. <laughs> He's never oh. going to offer to carry my handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Right then, so we have um, the back piece now. Yes. Um, and I'm going to touch on it very quickly because there is a bit that you need to remember. Okay. So on your pattern piece, you've got a couple of notches mm -hmm. here. Da -da -da, and on here. Okay. Now these apply to the back and the back only. Okay. So I've gone ahead and done my little, my little notch method. The aircon's kicked in, hasn't it? So we're getting wafts in. of everything. So weights, I, really. I've gone ahead and done exactly the same as the front where I've pressed in my seam allowances, but it's those two notches that I'm interested in. So what I'm going to do just for a quick one is just put up some pins in so I can see them on the other side. Right, okay. And again and again. And the reason why these are important is because we're going to be adding the straps into them at the latest possible stage. So if you don't get this done oh. now and you just stitch it down like you did the front, you'll, have to, you'll have to unpick. You'll have to lump pick. So same process again where you're lining up the side of the, um, the notches on the side of the bag. Yeah. But you're going to stitch in from here, back stitch, to leave there. that open, back stitch, continue across, stop, leave that open, and so on. So, so you've so got two holes in the bag. It's like the back stitching that you would do if you were leaving um, space to bag out. Y yeah, yeah. Isn't it? It's like, you know, you put your markers in, you stitch up to that point, skip a bit. Move on. on. Exactly. Stitching. So stitching. Skitching. I like skitching. Yes. Keep right, on so, so, Yeah, it's a stitch and skit. <laughs> skitching. One of my favourite things. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all good today. I do like this canvas. It gives it um, it gives it a real good strong feel, doesn't it? Yeah, and which is why I without being bulky. Well, I wanted the. De I mean, you could go and use the canvas on the outside of the bag, but I just wanted to. I wanted to see the cave, didn't I? So I, I decided to go with the cave on the outside. Um, but I wanted to use the canvas, the, the sturdier fabric, definitely on the base to add the detail. So is this is lined as well. It is lined. So that's do right. you then line with the canvas? Uh, I've the I have lined with the canvas, but if you wanted to use the, um, in this case, the cave, you can do. There's enough, there's enough in your kit to do it any which way you like. Nice. Any which way you like. You're the designer. Apart from this has already been designed. But you're the, which way around you want it? I yeah. like. You see, she looks like she's going off for a nice day sightseeing somewhere, doesn't she? She's got her sunglasses on there. Just enough, you know. Wallet, sunnies, drinks. Yeah. There. A city break bag, that's yes, what that is. that's what this should be. Well, it is. So there you go, you've got your two little uh, gaps in the, um, in the layers there, mm -hmm. and that's going to allow for your straps to go in okay. at the very latest point, okay. and it'll make sense when we get there. Okay. So once we've got that done, next thing is right sides together, we're going to sew down the side seams. So I'm going to make sure that I'm matching up where my, my red canvas meets my kaif to give it that continuous look. When you start out, these are the bits that I didn't really sort of pay much attention to because I was 
still nervous about sewing. Yeah. Then the next step is you make sure that you start to match things match like things this. Up, because yeah. it just, you know, it's the next step, isn't it? To looking a bit professional, if you like. Don't profesh. But you've got notches as well, haven't you, to yes, match up so on this as well? Well, well spotted, because I was just about to say that. Well done. So on the end, so we've done our little tailor's tucks there, so I know where I'm going to be folding my fabric later on. But there's actually two points of reference on the side seam. Very similar to what we've just done on the base of our bag, we need to leave a hole in that section. So you're going to sew in and stop, leave a gap. Okay. I'll come back, I'll wait for you. So you're going to sew in from the top down where the first notch is, do a little back stitch. Yep. Leave a gap in that section there, start yep. again here with a back stitch and then go right down. Okay. You need the hole. If you don't have the hole, you can't put your straps in to make the opening and closing. Uh, now, if you do do that, then uh, just make sure that you buy the um, stitch unpicker with the, with the little light from the first show. Oh, that'd be brilliant. And then you'll be fine. Just unpick it. Well, it's the same if you forget to um, do the, um, the base bags, just use your little unpicker. It's not a major one, but it's all nice about the tools, isn't it? It's yeah. always the tool for the job. So I've just done a little back stitch. So that's that bit done. And then I'm going to find my other section. There we go. So in this one, it's not your dressmaking seam allowance. It's a one point. Um, it's a one centimeter okay. seam allowance. Just so you know. Because I guess the thing is, it, it, you know, if you're used to dressmaking like you, you, you make so many different things. Um, then actually, it might feel a little bit. You Weird. might just have to just it, just bear in mind, bear pay in mind. a little bit of attention. Oh, definitely. Don't go in and just go. Oh, you know, I don't want to. Do you do need to pay attention to your seam allowance, especially when we get to doing your. Um, your circular base, which is what we're going to do in just a moment. So again, you need to repeat the same process on the other side. It's not a one side opening. It, there's two openings. Two, okay, okay. All right. Um, lots of new buyers today. Good morning. Thank morning. you ever so much for joining us. Um, and if you are a new buyer, then hey, look, if you're spending over £10, not including your PMP, look what we're just going to give you, just because we can, because we're nice like that. Thank you very much. There you go. Enjoy. Ooh. Don't worry about Yeah, I know, I know. Don't worry about putting in a code or anything. Um, our lovely warehouse team, they know what they're doing. They'll just pop one in for you. That's funky. We've had lots of great new new. I know. New I missed groups. out on the uh, the tin with the, the birthday tin. No, you're not alone. You're not alone on that one. I'm going to call that tin gate. <laughs> Okay. We, sh we, sh it. we shall say no more about it. Yep. Um, so we have the outside of our bag complete now. Uh huh. Okay. So the last thing we need to do is insert our circular bottom. Okay. Do you want me to wait or do you want me to do that? Do it. Do it. Okay. So you've got on your bag, you have got four points of reference. You've got two notches in the very center, which I've already gone ahead and clipped so I know exactly yep. where they are and then you've also got your side seams as well okay so this is where you need to start inserting your circle so in the base you've got exactly the same four points of reference yep. two on the sides and two on the other opposite sides okay um do is there a right or wrong size with my canvas again I think one once you've cut it make a decision but I would it, it's microscopic differences. You're not gonna unless you're really good. You're not gonna. You're not gonna see. You're not gonna see. It would be a bit weird if someone followed you down the road. Yeah. Looking at you How rude everything. of them as well. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I think you're fine. Because hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't got a nap. You can't. You can't tell with this. You ju you just. You can't tell. And also because it's yarn dyed. Yeah. So it's not like it's printed. It's actual yarn dyed, which means that the yarn that it's woven with is already that colour. Whereas you see, you, like your K fabric there, that's printed. That's, you can definitely, definitely yeah. see where, what is the right or wrong side. Like I say, the telltale sign is in the um, the salvage. Yeah, they, once you've cut that off, you never once you've know. cut it, you're, you're not going to know anyway. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, producer Paul says you've got to start checking your baskets out. Which one are you going for? Which one's favourite, producer Paul? Oh, the favourite is the one that Jennifer's already made. It's oh, cute. Just this one. Let me wheel her in with your Jennifer Paganelli design here. Yeah. I really like that with the navy, actually. Looking good. Half a meter of each of those fabrics, half a meter of your pink canvas, half a meter of your Jennifer Paganelli, and your thread and your pattern. I love bundles that put a pattern in. I'm not gonna lie, because then it's like a never-ending bundle. Because <laughs> I can just keep using that pattern over and over like and over it. again. No, you're right. You're absolutely yeah, but if it's right. just a fabric bundle, then the fabric will run out. Yeah, absolutely. Whereas with this, psh, keeps going. 
Right, what are we doing? Okay, so we're stitching the base in. So I would suggest going with the longer side of the base first. So if I just bring in my uh, line, which I've already gone ahead and done. Yeah. Um, don't start in this section here. You want to start in the longer section there. Okay. Get yourself settled, doesn't it? Get yourself it? settled, get, your, yeah. get yourself in. So start on this section here. So don't start at the side seams. Start on the, what would be the central notch, if you like. Use okay. your notch, start on your notch. So you're going to sew around. So I haven't gone ahead and pinned um, it all in. I've literally just done the four sections. So once yeah. I... Daredevil. <laughs> once I hit the point where, so if I, um, on this section here, you can see I've sewn the straight part. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it starts to separate differently. So if I just tilt that it starts to separate separately. Yeah. So this is the point where the curve is. So then what I do is I tilt and get my fingers in and do that. So I'm basically easing in with my fingers. So my fingers are becoming the pins. Nice. And then I can scoot around. Okay. Your fingers with your sewing have been very useful today. They tap the air, didn't they, out of the crate? They tap the air out of the yep. crate. Well, they are your little tools, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. I re and actually, you, um, when we do the strap, I've already gone ahead and pre-pressed, but those little um, finger oh, guards little that you had, finger guards. I have them, I completely endorse those. I thought you, they were, the ones that, you were one of the ones that recommended it. Well, yeah, I definitely. You championed them. Cha I definitely championed yeah. I think I popped a picture on um, on Facebook and said how cool they were, so I think it might have been off the back of that. But, um, oh, they're, they're fabulous. They are absolutely, and you know I love my finger, my little, uh, my little finger <laughs> You tools. love your fingers. Yeah. I do love my fingers, <laughs> and you do need to look after them. Of course you do. Um, so, yeah, no, they are totally, totally worth they it. They were on the first hour, if you're after those. As yeah. recommended by Jim Patel. They are absolutely fabulous. Okay, so I'm just coming around the, uh, the first corner, so I'm doing that. So now I'm coming back up to my home straight, so that's the longer side of the bag. And I know you keep stopping and making sure that the fabric's not catching underneath. That's the so biggest So don't be one. afraid to, you know, you don't have to do this in one fell swoop, oh, you no. know. If, you, if you're a bit late to pick up the kids, don't do it now. Oh, no, no, don't do Wait, it now. save it till you get back. So this is what I was talking about. So this one, you can clearly see that there's a, a nice, long, straight section there, but then after a point, then it starts to curve around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, what, um, that's the bit that I'm talking about. So And that's why you start on the straight, that's straight why, stretch. Yeah, first. give yourself a run-up, otherwise it will make it um, more and more difficult as you go okay. around. So we're coming on to our, more, uh, our second part, which is towards the um, side seam. So jiggling with those fingers. Pressing the air out as you go. Yeah. Good job. It just sounds silly, doesn't it? But no, do no, find, no, it does make perfect sense. I do find that it, it does help. And then again, just make sure that your um, your seam is open just to reduce the bulk in that okay. area. Okay, next question, Jennifer. Go. Right. Is what level is this? Oh, it's a definite beginner, I think. Really? Yeah. Even though there's a curve in there? No, I think it's a beginner. I think yeah. it's absolute beginner. The, the pattern's there, it's cut to size, you haven't got to worry about it. We're not doing a, a gathering stitch to you know, ease it in. You can see that I can do this on the machine ahead without of time without, without pins. So you can, you can do this, it's definitely a nice beginner one. And it's just square pieces put together, isn't it? So no, I'd definitely say this is a beginner. And a, and a nice quick mate if you're a more adventurous um, sewer. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna leave you to turn that whichever way around you're turning Brilliant. it around. And I'm gonna go look at some fabric. Hooray. Now, most popular, producer am I correct in saying most popular is still the Jennifer Paganilla of Pag Paganilli? Yes. But let's start with the teal. Oh yeah, the teal one. Love this. Do you know what, producer Paul? I would be really tempted to, um, to, to buy both, to buy the pink one and that one, because look, you've got that lovely teal that would go with all of it. So here we go. You've got uh, your Michael Miller fabric there, half a metre of that, and then a half a metre of that gorgeous deep teal. Mm, love it. And look how well that thread matches. We do match threads well, don't we? That's $18.99, and you get your packet, which makes it the never-ending bundle because you've got your, um, your pattern there. Now, the one that Jennifer is using, um, we can, we'll, we'll give you the details on the still because it's still coming up as the wrong price. It's not now incorrectly priced. Um, online, it's absolutely fine. If you ring up, it's absolutely fine. It's just 19.99. It's just our graphics say, uh -uh. the code is NNGC. 39, NNGC39. Give our customer call centre a number, uh, call 
call center a call, even 0800-112-4433, if you are in any confusion over that, and they will help you out. All righty, Tim Holtz. Nice. Love this one. Here we go. Pattern, half a meter of your gray canvas, half a meter of your Tim Holtz and a gray thread, all in for 20 pounds and 49 pence. The only price difference here is just a, a down to the design of fabric. That's all, that's all the difference is. All of these packs have the same amount of everything in, but please check out your baskets. Yes, yes, yes. Now, um, we haven't given this one, we haven't given this detail, have we? Now, over half of this stock has gone, so please do check out your baskets. We've been saying that a lot today, haven't we? Busy day. There you go. That is your Jennifer Paganelli. I love those colors. It looks great with navy. That's why I'm, I'm really enjoying it on the mannequin today. Just looks lovely. Those bright colors really pop. There you go. Pattern, thread, everything. Under 20 pounds. Nice. Well, let me do it. Where are we at then, Jennifer? Where are we at? Oh, you've had a quick press. I've had a quick press. Right, so the next step, um, I think, is crucial, really, for okay. getting the bag spot on, um, and that's the press. So I, what I've gone ahead and done, I've already pressed open my side seams. So you can see now it really reveals that opening for what would be our straps a little bit later now on. Now, you've got an opening either side of your bag, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, that's that? right. Okay. So there's one there, and if I show you that one there, just to prove that there is yeah. one, one there. And then going back to our running tail attack that yes. we did, um, I would go ahead and press that under now. So all I did was just um, peel my fabric back to the point where it revealed my tail attack. Mm -hmm. Like so. Uh -huh. Come in. They're coming. Yeah. All right. So all I did was just fold my fabric back to reveal the tail attacks there and then went in with my hot iron and pressed that down on both sides ahead of time. Okay, so that's that bit done. All right. Hey, I'll tell you what, I've had a nice message from um, Anne Maria. She's in Buckinghamshire. She says, Morning. Morning. Have ordered the teal bag for my daughter to put her testing kit in. Ooh. And did get the panel as well. Thank you. Good job. Uh, happy days, I'd say. Good, good job. Now, this step isn't in the instructions, but I think it, um, somebody mentioned that they were having difficulty getting their straps into the, the channel, which we're about to create. Yes, that was, some, uh, that was Jennifer. Was no, it? Jennifer. Oh, brilliant. Yes. Okay, so it's this step that I'm going to show you now, which again isn't in the instructions, but I think this is top tip for you when you're at okay. home. It just makes it easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch a box around that opening. So remember, I've pressed open my seam, so they're completely out of yes. the way at the moment. So again, I'm going to start on one side of the opening. Yeah. And I'm going to stitch around. So I'm just going to go so there. So almost like top stitching around I'm it. top stitching it, that's right. But this isn't in the instructions, this so is, this is a, a rogue Jennifer Taylor top tip. This is a rogue top Jennifer tip. Taylor top tip, just to help right. you. Um, because what that's going to do is gonna, it's going to keep that, um, that seam allowance down. So when you are feeding your, um, your straps through that channel, yeah. they're not going to get caught on what would be the seams. Because sometimes you want to go, you go in between the two layers, don't uh, you? Whereas yes, just yes, by yes. doing this quick top stitch, yeah. It just encloses that raw seam down. Cunning. Makes it, and also adds support into that air, that opening. So obviously you're going to be opening and closing your bag lots. This is just going to give it that extra bit of strength. So if I pass that to you. So all Jennifer's done, because look, you've got your seam behind there. Mm -hmm. That's all That's all pressed flat. And then all Jennifer has done is done a little box just to reinforce, keep everything open. So now those, that can't shut because she's stitched it shut. Stitched it down. Open. Yeah, yeah, stitched it all down. So, and then it just adds some stress. So you, that way you know that your stitches aren't going to come undone from this part or that part because you've stitched nice. around that box. Yeah. So repeat that on the Both other side, sides, yeah. but I'm going to skip ahead that step. Okay. So the next bit now yes. is the lining. So it's exactly the same process with the front and the back. The pattern piece is different. It's a little bit shorter because we've created our, our um, casings with our case in this okay, case. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it is... Case casing. Case casing. Uh, and again, you've got your round bottom and then you've probably already noticed that we've got a opening in the side seam. Yeah. All right. And I've also gone ahead and in, in, it's um, not interfaced. It's a fusible wadding. 
H640. H640. It's our new favourite friend, H640. It. You get a metre of this when you get it. It is a fusible um, interfacing. We're quite limited on this because we've been hammering this a lot because it's amazing. I love it. Uh, and we all love it. And so it's just 9 99 for a metre piece of it. But I know lots of you multi-buy yeah. on this. It's one of those things, once you've used it, I mean, it just looks like the most uninspiring thing. It's like a piece of white. Oh, but it's a game changer. it's brilliant because it's... it's not all fusibles are created equal in my mind. <laughs> Just saying. But this is a really good one. Um, the number of times that I've used a cheaper alternative, should we say, and pressing, yeah. uh, uh, pressing, pressing. Especially, doesn't... especially when you're doing your bags because you want your wadding to stay still and yeah. you don't want to take the, eff the effort and the time. I know I did with my tailor's tacks <laughs> earlier on in this show. But you don't want to have to hand tack it all the time. So yeah. a fusible, just it's nice and, so nice and easy. So I've just popped that inside my bag. So yep. I've got the right side of my lining attached to the right side of my bag. So that's the cave in this mm -hmm. case. Okay, mm -hmm. so they're touching each other. Uh, matched up my side seams. Mm -hmm. And then all I'm going to do now is stitch around the whole thing. And we don't have to worry because we've got a hole in the other side uh, seam, haven't we? The side seam. So if you're thinking, oh, you're not going to be able to pull it out, remember that little hole I showed you in the side seam. Yes. So I'm going to take this off, a little gubbins box off. No, no, no. It's, 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 it's direct to Tim says, does that mean you don't remember? No, no, it, I do remember. I'm just trying to work out in my head. The casing. Yeah, because the lining, you said, was shorter to allow for the casing. Oh, when you turn it through. Turn it Sorry, out. It took me a little while. That's why you've got great you patterns, there. isn't it? Um, was there a message that I just see, just full? It's disappeared again. Oh, it's gone. Gone. Oh, it was something from Sue, but it's disappeared. Oh, Sue in Norfolk. She says, can we see the other bag designs on the pattern, please? Uh, yes. In fact, actually, we've got, we've got one here. If you want it with a lid, a lid, yeah. <laughs> yeah, flap doesn't sound right, does it? But they do call it a flap in the instructions. If you'd like a flap, then you can do it that way. That's your other alternative. And I don't think we've done the idly biddly one. There's also just a tiny one. It's exactly the same, it's just a lot smaller. That's all it is. They are your options. There you go, Sue, does that help? So uh, that's the one that we've made. That's the one I'm holding with the flap lid, whatever you want to call it. And that's the little idly biddly one. There you go. Ta -da. So, centimetre seam allowance, centimetre seam allowance, round. all the way around. Okay. Done. Yeah. Right, okay, so now we need to go fishing for the our lining. You're bagging out hole, is that what you're We're looking bagging for? it out, that's right. Do you know, if there was ever one thing that still continuously confuses me every time I make something, it's like, oh, hang on, because I'll, I'll line... The inside I'll, out thing. Yeah, so I'll pull the lining out and then you've got to kind of pull it out and then push it back in again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all a bit of a kerfuffle, isn't it? But it looks great in the end. It does look great in the end. Okay, yeah, so... When, go on, you were going to say something. Sorry. We haven't got any arms on it yet. No, we haven't got any arms on it yet. Just a bit of raw edges there. Handling right, so things. the only reason... Um, remember we did the pressing beforehand, because it's so difficult to do that press when it's in this state. So that's oh. why I wanted to show you that tailor's tack, and that's the whole point, that, that, that's what makes the bag. Jen, if I have best press spray at home, could I reinforce that, that press with a bit of best press so that it's not going to go anywhere? Yeah, sure. Of course you could. I got a bit overexcited with the best press yeah, today with my English paper piece. Like, <laughs> what, and it was it like that? cardboard at the yeah. end? <laughs> uh, Bobby says, just done my first order. Yay! Get in, Bobby. Look, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. You're very happy about He's that. He's a very happy person. Congratulations. Um, if you spend over £10, you're getting a, a, free, Ooh, a free gift too. Yay. I like that. Like a little freebie. You know, just a little, hey. Thank you. Yeah, we've got a deal today. You did got a deal on those fabrics, those panels as well, didn't oh, you, today? Deal stick today. Right, I'm just finding my um, pressed point. Yep. Clean it out. So this is where you need to feel. Um, ideally, what I would I've forgotten to do it when you um, before you bag out, so it's mm -hmm. the right way. Press that canvas back down into the lining. So don't press up into the into the um, don't press up into the casing, press down into the lining, because this makes this step a lot easier. Okay. So what you're then going to do is making sure that that seam is facing down, but in this case, it wants to face up, just to make my life a little bit harder for me. If it's live TV, I mean, you know, of course. I completely got, forgot about that bit. 
There's me going like that. This is the most important bit. Many an important bit. Many, There's many, lot, important, lots of many important, important bits. bits. But basically, what you're going to do now yes. is where the lining meets the top of that casing, you're going to sew around the whole thing. Okay. All right. So you shouldn't have any seam allowances in that section at all. And is that just because it just gets confusing and well, it, just adds extra exactly, bulk? Going back to Jennifer and saying how she found it difficult to get her um, straps into the bag, it might want to have been the side seams just making it difficult to get in and out. But if you've got all of those raw edges where we've attached the lining to the bag in that casing, then there's, it, there's, there's, there's friction. For space. Yeah, there's friction. So make sure it's pressed down into the lining. So in this case, it's the canvas side. Press that down into the canvas side, giving you a nice clean tube to be able to run your um, your straps through more easy. We've got about nine minutes left. Oh, we've got plenty of time. Confident. Plenty of time. Wow. I think we'd have more time if I'd pressed that down beforehand. But uh -oh. never mind. No, well, never mind. Um, I'm loving the cave. I have to say, really enjoying the cave. It's lovely, isn't it? It's like it reminds me of holidays because it looks like a stick of rocks. Oh yeah, or the um, or In a good slightly way. wonky um, beach deck chairs. Yeah. I'm just going to... Uh, details gonna at the time. bottom for the cave, 1999. I'll just do charades and you tell me what I'm thinking of, you see. I know, yeah, we're on tune today, aren't we? Yeah, no, we get it. Well, I'm going to turn this as I like, so I just can't do it. Quick Would you like the iron? Yes, please. I've oh, got I'll nine minutes. Let me do, do that for you. Sometimes. Sometimes. You've just, just got to take just, a back step, haven't you, just, just to make life go, easier. What were you doing, Jen? So you want to press it away from... Your cave. Your cave. Away from the cave. Step away from the cave. And it will just make all that difference. Do I need... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm about to press onto some, um, some fusible. Do, do I need my ironing pressing cloth in, uh, in an ideal world? Yeah, I suppose in an ideal world. But no, it, it's not a super hot iron and you need okay. a, a sort of... Medium to hot iron, don't you, okay. to... Um... We had Mr. Fuse on the first hour. Oh, no, it was the, no, it was the goddess sheet. We had, we had Misty Fuse as well, which is... Um, which is a sort of an interfacing-y thing. Okay. Like a bonder web type thing. But it's like a web. Ooh. Yeah, it's clever. Uh, but that wasn't what I was thinking of. I was thinking <laughs> about goddess sheet for pressing. Have a look on the website. Below just have a look on the there. website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're losing our minds in the studios. Just have a look on the website. It's fine. fine. It's all there. It's, it's all, there. all there. That's what it's there for anyway. Yeah. Well, I love a good rummage through our website. I know, yeah. It is dangerous when you do that. Yeah. Right, let's start again, shall we? So I've pressed that to one side. Yes. And now I'm going to turn it inside out. So do as you do as and as you say. Yes. Yes. Don't do as I do. Just do as I, yes, please. Right, just do as I told you. Bobby, what did you go for, by the way? I'm excited she's, she's about that. first order. So I'm, um, oh, no, I am nosy. No, I love it. I love seeing what people have bought, especially when we do like fairs and things. So it was knitting and stitching coming up soon. Come and show me your bags. I want to see what you've got in there. Because we're busy, we, we don't get a chance to shop that much, do we? So I like to what, think though. I'm shopping through you. Yeah, I've been, I've been stopped at fairs and have people rummaging through my bags. <gasps> Probably me. Go, no, what's well, no, apart from you, like, people I didn't know. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, yeah. Having a good old rummage. <laughs> Is it acceptable to do that? I'm going to say potentially, I mean, there wasn't anything embarrassing in oh, there. Okay. <laughs> It was fine. It was, you know, it was just like beautiful fabric. I'm all happy, always happy to oh, share. Oh, it's always happy to share. If it's fabric, fabric, then yeah, sure. As long as I've got mine already. <laughs> it's when they're stopping in mid-supermarket. You're like, hold on a minute, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, yeah. So, it's acceptable at knitting and stitching fairs, but not yeah. acceptable in the supermarket. Right, they just like stop me in the street and rummage. That's, that's what it's brilliant. Weird. I love it. <laughs> so we are, which bit are we pinning? Oh, she bought this one. Oh, well done, Bobby. Excellent. Oh, the cave. Oh, there you go. nice. Yep, so what I'm doing is I'm, again, just feeling my way around, making sure that my, um, the seam allowance is in that section of the bag. Yep. Leaving that channel there, my cave channel, yep. nice and clear and seam free. So Bobby, if this is your first order today, and congratulations, nice one. Nice what I would say is make a note in your diary or somewhere, I don't know how organised you are, make a note <laughs> of today's date, uh, which is what, the 30th, yeah, it's Valentine's Day as well. Tomorrow. Pancake day today, Valentine's oh, Day tomorrow. So hungry, let's stop talking about pancakes. Uh, sorry about that. Um, and so, yeah, make a note, 13th of February today, mm -hmm. and just make a note that it was, it was our fault, it was the last hour. The last hour. And then when you get your order, all you need to do is then go onto YouTube, sewing quarter, 13th of February, bosh, up bosh, it bosh, comes. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Or you might have to put in the year as well, because, you know, now we're a year old. <gasps> 
Yeah, oh, that's about never about been that. a thing before, has I it? No, yeah, about put in that. the year as well. And then skip forward to this hour, well, unless you want to watch the other three hours as well. You can. Um, and then you mind. will get all of Jen's fabulous tutorials to help you if you wish. Or if just use you your wish. Yes. Up to you. Yeah, because my instructions on this today was rubbish. Just follow the pattern. <laughs> No, you gave us a top tip. No, you gave I'm us only a, joking. You've given us top tips. There, I gave Jen. you top tips. Yeah, don't right. put yourself down. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Right, I'm going to go round. I'm going to do it. So what I'm doing is using where the clear part of the foot meets the metal, and I'm using that as my seam allowance guide as I go around. So that way, I know I've got a nice straight parallel line with the um, the folded fabric. Remember Makes where we did? Perfect sense to me. Yeah, I see yeah. what you mean. Yep. So slow and steady wins the race. I am. Um, I use all sorts of edges of feet and things and well, whatnot that's what they're to there guide. For, isn't it? That's what they're there for. There you go. So you can see that edge of the foot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where those two fabrics meet, working as your guide. Watching as your guide, nice and straight. Are you having pancakes tonight, Jen? Oh, I think I might have a pancake after I finish here, I think. Really? Why wait? Go for it. Why wait? Go for it. I do love a good pancake. Although I do like a savoury pancake. Oh, yeah. Um, Margaret Ann says, my first buy today, the magenta one. Oh. Yes. The magenta. Oh, the, this one. Beautiful. So look, lots of you. New buyers today coming in today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Just Hi. takes one thing to inspire, doesn't it? And gets you going. Lots of you, because we've got a new... Um, oh, you've got to start checking out the baskets. Lots of you on our new Sewing Quarter fan page on Facebook as well. Yes, I'm enjoying seeing that. Sharing all of your ideas. It's been so lovely to see. And also seeing all the makes that you've made off the shows and seeing just how wonderful they are. It just goes to show, doesn't it? You know, our experts show you and then you're making... They, you look ex they look exactly the same, which is just brilliant. I love it. Or sometimes you put a little twist on it. It's just lovely. It's really nice to see. And there's some very talented people on there. Yeah. I love it. I love seeing the mates because it's inspirational seeing them, isn't it? Yeah. So there you go. When you've, um, Margaret Ann and Bobby, when you've made them, skip along to there, pop your new mates up there. We'd love to see them. This is looking fabulous. Can I push those, can I push the lining in so it's all nice and... Yeah, sure. Yeah. Would you just stitch over, hand stitch or just stitch down that bagging out bit? Oh, there's a pin. Oh, thanks. Have an extra pin. Okay, so we've got to this stage. So we've got this to that good. stage now. So all you're doing now, so remember the little loop that we created down here where yes. we, it was, it's basically straight binding? Yes. And um, that's exactly the same thing that you need for your straps. Okay. Okay, so there is a pattern piece to tell you how long they want the strap to be, mm -hmm. but it's your bag. So if you want to make it shorter or longer, then that's what you do. Um, and then I would go with your bog kim. This we had in the first hour, this will be on the website underneath where you can watch this live. There's going to be a whole list of various other tools. This is why we have ours showing you tools. So you've just gone ahead and grip the fabric. So I'm going to grip the fabric, push down the little thing there so it's nice and tight, so that's yeah. not going anywhere. And then I'm going to feed that through. So I'm going to go in from this side first. Yep. So again, that's all been stitched, uh, that side hasn't been stitched down, so that will be difficult for me, whereas the other side will be nice and clean okay pull that through uh, the bookings are great i have um, a favorite pair of pajamas that i've had for years and the ribbon that goes Constantly through comes it out. yeah so uh bodkin at the ready bodkin at the ready so that's one side so you see how that's easily nice. sliding through that because we've stitched those seams down and this is what you need not you jen other jen that messaged me earlier and said you know it was a bit tricky there this is this is it yeah, I think the tip is make sure you all of your raw seams are inside the lining and not inside your casing. Well, and otherwise they would be catching, down. wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a good tip. Especially when you start putting in the second piece. So this is just one side of the handle so far. What? So a little design feature you might want to consider. So rather than having two sides where you've got two openings, close one off completely and then you can have it as just a side back. Oh, nice. All right, so there's your one handle done. Yeah. So you need to repeat that with the other side, but go in the other way. So you've got something coming out this side and something coming out that okay. side. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. All right. Oh, no wonder, yeah, no, if you've got all of the, all of the seam gubbins going on in there, you, it there's a lot. Yeah, there's a Yeah, exactly, so it gets super crowded. So if you wanted a different kind of badge, you could just leave that as it is, and then you've got like a one on the shoulder number nice. instead. Like a barrel bag. Like a barrel bag, that's got right. a minute and a half with you, by the way. That's fine, we've got plenty of time. So these are the straps. So do you remember at the back of the bag, we had those oh, two little yes, holes? I do. That's the bit we're ah, working on now. this is the moment. So with these two, 
again, just make sure they're not twisting the casing, making sure they're lying nice and flat down here as well. Mm. You could just need to feed them into that hole like so. Yeah. Now I'm going to go down quite a bit because obviously depending on what you have in your bag. Oh, so, so I've much. literally gone down that far. Yeah. All right. And then what you can then do is pop a pin in. So you just need to be careful that you don't grab your lining here, that you are just working in this case with the case and uh, the strap. So I've just pulled the lining away. I can feel yeah. that that's not attached now. So that's ready to go. Repeat with the other side. Now, oh, but wait, how do I stitch that? Now? This is that is this is the tricky part. So again, unfortunately, I know you put all the lining in very beautifully, my darling, but I'm afraid I have to take it out. You're just going to take it out. I'm just going to take it out. So you basically need to go in through this section again to go yeah. around the base of the bag. Okay. Alternatively, you could hand, hand stitch, stitch that, but make sure you do a double thread and back stitch. Don't do a running stitch. I'm hand, I'm so I'm all over hand stitching that to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to take this good. off. I'm going to try and give it a go. It is okay. tricky. It really is tricky. But that's the only thing. Oh, 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 okay. So you're going in. The whole thing's going the in. The whole thing's going. Oh, I see what you meant. Oh, that's less fiddly than I thought. I thought see? you were having to spin it inside out. Oh, I take it all back and I'm doing this. I'm not hand stitching. <laughs> so I'm going to go around this side. Hold on. You've got less than a minute, by the way. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's what you should. Got it done. Done. Right. Just make sure you get the side that you want to work on in first rather yes. than the other side, which is what I've done. Okay. Right, okay, so now you need to trace. So remember we did those stitching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really try and get that needle back over uh, the line of stitching that you did before. Now, my tip with this would actually be use a completely different contrasting thread. Okay. And then that uh -huh. way you can really see where you were. So this time I'm all about oh, the look contrast. At you. Just ready to put that in your, on your wrist. Right, I'm going to stitch that down. So I would go over it and then I'd be reversing back over it and going over it a few times just because I'm a bag over filler. Yep, that's absolutely right. And also because I've given it a nice length. So in that yep. casing, I've given it a good inch. So it has to go through an inch of fabric okay. before it will come undone I've got anyway. To go. I've got to go. Bye. Show me, no, show me, show me, show me, show me. I can't, I can't just leave it hanging Leave there. it hanging. I oh, know you've got to try and no, find fine, your little fine. exit point, haven't you? There it is. It's easy to Let get Let me it. show you. Yay. <laughs> Perfect. Done. Great. I've got it. Thanks, Jen. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. So you can, actually, you can. So uh, for those of you that didn't see what Jen just did, because I whipped it away from her super, super fast, look what she's done. <clears throat> you remember we left that hole for bagging out? Go in through there, and then you can just see she's gone and stitched over, back, over, so that those that she put in there they're not going anywhere. Yes. Right. Okay. Tim Holtz is first. If you're after your Tim Holtz, it's £20.49. Uh, you get a half a metre of your Tim Holtz. You get your pattern. You get your thread. You also get your nice grey canvas. Now, the Michael Miller one next, which is the lovely one with the teal. Very, very popular, even though we've barely seen it. Uh, here it is. This is £18.99 today. So if you'd like half a metre of your uh, Michael Miller fabric, half a metre of your teal canvas, and you need to start checking out your basket for that. Yeah. Most popular is, was the Jennifer Paganelli. Lovely. There's a designer I want to see more of. Uh, so this is your Jennifer Paganelli. Um, half a metre of that, half a metre of your pink. And also down at the bottom of the screen, you are about to see, da da da, the K Facet one. Yeah. There it is. So uh, that's uh, 19 99 and your code NNGC39 for that. There we go. Now, tomorrow, coming up tomorrow, let's see. We've got all Victoria, Pete, and Lucy Brennan are in. Let's see what we're up to, shall we? So we've got a teddy bear quilt. Love, love, love this one. In fact, I requested this one. That's 8 a.m. with Victoria, Pete. Then 9 a.m., we've got a quilting fairground fun with Lucy Brennan. Oof. And then we've got a chic patchwork poof. Can't say that very quickly. Uh, and that is Stunning, absolutely stunning. I've been admiring that in the office for weeks now. And then 11 a.m. in love with Tilda. Yes, yes, I am. Uh, and Lucy Brennan and I will be doing that hour. So lots to stay in for tomorrow. 
don't go anywhere. Remember, you can check out your baskets. You can watch us on Freeview. You can watch us again on Sky, and you can always watch us um, on, the, on the website and also on YouTube. So, you know, wherever you are, you can always get your seven quarter fix. So I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning with some beautiful shows, absolutely not to be mixed. Thank you so much for all of your comments and messages and fun that we've had today. Thank you. And of course, thank you, Jennifer Taylor. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Bye-bye. Join us on Wednesday, the 14th of February, when Victoria Pete will be here to make a stylish patchwork poof from Simply Sewing magazine. This practical addition to your home decor uses a fun foundation paper piecing method, which Victoria demonstrates, along with her top tips and professional techniques for perfect results. Once you know how simple it is, you can snap up one of our kits complete with step-by-step -step instructions. We've got fabric options to suit everyone. So tune in and prepare to transform your home on Wednesday the 14th of February at 10 a.m. only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678.